Look Hello. at that. Excellent. Aloha, everybody. Okay, Aloha. we're ready to rock and roll. Wow. It's, we did it. I'm, I'm nervous. I've done how many videos and how, and how many times have I presented on stage and all that, but I think it's an excitement that's coming up. Well, and you know what, John and I decided we were going to like chill with you guys and we're just going to, we're just going to, it's me and him today. It's not, it's not Lisa. It's Lisa us. T and John and mm -hmm. yeah. So welcome to the couch. Like come hang yeah. out on the couch with us <laughs> and we're just going to have a conversation and I get to hang out with Lisa and Kawhi so often. Every time I come, it's just, it's so inspired and there's always new information coming through and there's a lot of playfulness yeah. and a lot of anchoring in what's coming in also and then Lisa, as many of you already know, has this way of transmitting what's coming in so to help us embody and to expand this infinite energy that's coming in and, and truly is infinite. So it is. it's going to be an expansive, expansive conversation today. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining us. And again, grab a cup of coffee, grab some water, hang out on the couch and just sit back and relax and again, join us for our time together so excited it's, it's a couple hours this. on the couch absolutely <laughs> oh that's like no time with lisa it goes by like in 20 minutes oh dude um, i know we, we get together for like an hour and it's like one o'clock the next morning we're sitting <laughs> and it's like i gotta go home I got, i'm tired i'm sleepy <laughs> i'm hungry i'm tired i'm sleepy i gotta wake up in the morning and i leave so full but we feed them yeah Oh, Lisa's sandwiches. That's a whole different. That's, that's a whole, a whole different, different conversation. Story. So today we're going to talk multidimensionality. We're going to talk new earth and, and how this is our reality now, and how important it is to bring through the awareness and the understandings that assist each person with basically understanding how not complicated multidimensionality is. And the reason I say that is because in the beginning, multidimensionality seems like such a vast thing. And, and, you know, in a way it is because it's a, it's a vast experience. And in the early days, we didn't understand that multidimensionality went beyond our dreams. Or, you know, when I first came in, I was actually looking up dimensions, trying to linearly understand the difference between the dimensions. Well, then when you start living it, we, we start realizing when we start integrating um, our own light, when, when we start integrating the light of our soul, we actually start entering literally other dimensions. And at first it's in the sleep state, which is why so many people have to sleep, is to, there's different, there's so many different phases of the process of multidimensionality because there is the ascension of our consciousness to, to, to wake up to what we forgot, called remembering. And, and so we're ascending our consciousness beyond the physical reality in order to understand um when you're ascending your consciousness you're elevating your consciousness to a much higher plane of existence and then once you're able to ascend your consciousness then you get to bring the body through which is a whole different part of the process and as we go through physical body ascension we then enter multi-dimensionality on a whole new level it's no longer a going to sleep and seeing it in your dreams it's a you're experiencing it in your physical reality because you're going through an actual evolution of your dna what does that look like for some people um well it depends um it can be a trippy psychedelic experience it can be a this is weird and bizarre um, a lot of us will say i don't feel like Right. Because you don't feel like your human aspect. I call it the human aspect anymore. And you'll feel weird. It, it, it actually, when you hit the galactic frequencies, it actually feels very eerie and, and, and bizarre. And then what will happen is there's a bending of your mind. There's a stretching of your mind that has to occur. You, you basically have to challenge every belief that you have and, and question yourself as to why you believe. Because when you start ascending your consciousness and you start experiencing multidimensionality, it, it gets a bit weird and bizarre. So it really means letting go of the judgment about the whole thing and the perceptions of how all this is. That'll actually kind of get in our way because we have this perception of what multidimensionality is or a perception of what ascension is or a perception. And we basically have to challenge our perceptions. 
I wonder, and that actually brings me to something that we were talking about yesterday, which is the concept of feeling the collective and being affected by the collective consciousness. And I love your awareness around this. Well, and it changes all along the way. Because in the beginning, if you will, when, when we are not conscious of our higher consciousness existence, if you will. Um, and I'm going to say this because it's important to understand. On a human level, consciousness is a threat. And, and so each human will actually resist this because we don't like our lives being challenged. We don't like things to change. And unfortunately, on a human level, nobody gets that option anymore because Earth went multidimensional. And, and so everything on Earth it is operating in different dimensions now. And, and each person, as you elevate your consciousness, your, your body actually starts to vibrate at a different frequency. And it'll actually carry you out of the old dimensions completely into new ones, which sounds really bizarre to the human aspect going, oh, that's not possible. Oh, yes, it is. Is there an easy way to be carried compared to one where there's more strife? Yes. Um, the more we're in our head about the whole thing, the more struggle there is. The more we don't want to listen. The, 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 the more resistance we have, the, the less we want to surrender to our higher purposes, our higher selves. Uh, and all these things, and, and then the more challenged we will become because the, those are the walls, those are the veils of amnesia that we hold inside. And, and so in order to bring those walls around our heart now, in, in order for our soul to, I have to use words to describe a process that, that kind of are, are, are don't, there's really no words to adequate, adequately describe the process you know, because there's no words. There's new territory. We, we have to use words. So, yeah. so it takes a lot of words to describe what's really simple. When you're going through it, it really needs no explanation. But when you're trying to explain it to somebody else, which is why I write so much, I write everything for people because you can read it and it's like encoded and it actually activates your light body and, and multidimensional consciousness. Everything we do is light encoded, which activates new awareness, new understandings. It's a complete re-education on a whole new level. It's a reconstruction on a whole new level it's also. It's a deconstruction okay. of the old mentalities, the belief systems, and a reconstruction with all new information, which is higher consciousness information. We have to apply that to our lives though. We have to implement all new proceed, all new systems and procedures, how we live completely changes. I've been in part of that reconstructive process, and I know a lot of people that are going through it also, and there's this middle point in it that there's a lot of unknown and confusion in it because it's so new. Right. It's like it's hard to land, and, and we talked about how we land differently then. Well, and that we even goes to. into something we didn't talk about. Okay, okay. So, so we don't ground, we anchor. You anchor, anchoring light within your physical body structure means that you're going to hold your new reality, you're gonna hold the higher states of consciousness. You're going to hold that within you. But as you do, your physical body is going to start to vibrate. Your light body activates. And, and you're going to start to float and, and, and expand. And all these weird things start happening as your, as your DNA. The moment you activate the consciousness, then your DNA starts rewriting itself. And that's like a whole process that sometimes it takes years for a certain construct of reality because how we construct our realities before in the third and the fourth dimension are very different than they are constructed in the fifth dimension and, and high, much higher fifth dimension is just the beginning and all but there is a deconstruction process it, it, it takes place on every level though and and what we do is we have to rebuild our realities completely from scratch they have to be rebuilt on the energies of new earth because earth is energetic New Earth is energetic, and, and, and but you have to hold that energy. That energy is your soul, but most people don't know that. Right. Your light body, your photonic light body, the crystalline light body. Crystalline light body gives you the ability to process light codes, and and so it's a different it's a it's a different phase. It's your Christic consciousness. It, it, it's the crystalline consciousness. It's, it, they have all these different parts, but then we have different body templates that we have to incorporate that have to be integrated into our physical body, which is where all the sleep comes is because we can't transition from one reality to another and be awake because a human aspect will get in the way. And, and our brain has to shut down 
our mind, our human mind has to shut down so our higher mind consciousness can come on. I'm smiling because my mind has been shutting down so much. I can't remember people's names that I've known for years. It's, I'll try to remember the name of a city an hour and a half ago in California that I've visited probably a gajillion times and nothing, just blank, it would not come through. And so my mind, it's a, I thought there was something wrong with me. But I know there's not. But that's a clearing of your kosh, the whole record's gone. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, on a different level than what we were talking about yesterday. When you clear your Akash, and there's different, we have different Akashic records too. We have galactic, we have human Akash, mm -hmm. we have different, you have, you know, all the different existences, Lemurian, Atlantean, all of these have an Akashic records. Um, and, and then you get into, um, we've entered the cosmic Akash, which is the big deal. Wow. And, and so, for all of those who have been doing work for years, all of the deep inner work and learning how to function from deep inside of themselves. This process takes us deeper inside of ourselves. And it's about bringing our humanity through and coming from this place where we connect on a soul level in everything that we do. And so that soul connection, that, that star being connection, because us here as star beings, us here as light beings, we're, we're all of these things. We're the galactic councils. That, that actually function in the physical reality and bring through all the knowledge, we're the guardians, we're all of these things. And, and But you have to embody the frequency in order to be that thing, which is, it's a purification process of all of the old programs from your physical body so that you can actually embody your higher selves, all of them. And then we enter into oversoul consciousness, which, which is a different part of the process as well and, and brings everybody into avatar consciousness. Now, when we talk about the collectives, the phase we're in dictates how the collectives correlate to our current dimension we function from. And so in the beginning, if you will, on a human level, before anybody even understood multidimensionality as an option, much less a reality right. uh, that you walk in, you know, where there's like a bazillion realities all floating around you and you just pick and choose and shit and you change your vibration and you're just and, like, oh yeah, this one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were all bound by the collectives that we operated at vibrationally for that dimension. This is huge. I love this. Okay. Right. So I'm trying to explain it in many ways because it's true and it's not true and it changes dependent on the dimension you function from. So, so when you move into the fourth dimension, you start realizing, well, I'm not really bound by that anymore. And, and, and it's a choice to exit that program. It's a conscious choice to no longer be a part of that. And to basically about turn and shift your focus on the realities that you're creating, the realities that you are a part of, then they have to support your new earth existence. And when you start changing your focus and what you're allowing and what you're going to be a part of and what you're going to support with your time, your energy, your money, all of these things, then that's what you start creating in your reality. And there's an entire network of, of I call them new earth inhabitants. That, that's that. us. We're all new earth inhabitants. And there's an entire network of all of us. And this is all we do every day it, it is, is functioning from the unified field of consciousness to, to bring unity consciousness into every exchange. And a lot of people will say, well, that out there, or they're not conscious and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's your reality to master. And it's part of our personal responsibility. There's a maturity that we're stepping into as well. And in that maturity, there's a responsibility that we have to take for our experiences. When I broke down the word responsibility, oh, this I week when I wrote that, it down, yeah. because it's response mm -hmm. and your ability to respond a different way. Yeah. And, and it is a responsibility to fulfill your highest purposes here on a soul level. It's your, it's your responsibility because you agreed to this. Each one of us did. There's, there's nothing that occurs that we didn't agree to. Even the entire matrix program that existed, we, we agreed to all of that on a soul level. So now it's about choosing what you agree to. Allows you to clear that. So the cool part is, and I'm saying this, but then we break that down and that's no longer true. So, so we have to kind of move around a whole lot because when you enter into quantum reality, the quantum existences, that, then all the realities change because everything is based upon light codes and knowledge and information and your ability to tune into a field of consciousness as that consciousness and actually you influence the field 
And when you influence the field, you influence the entire physical reality that you function in. So, so we, on a human level, did not understand that the physical reality is our creation. It's actually a vibrational response to what we hold in our body and the programs that we hold. And so that as we pay attention to the programs and we start to learn how to do this, you just change the programs. You can write new programs, but, but and this is what I've been working with a lot of people lately is if you can't identify the program that is even running, then, then you, you basically don't have a, the power or the choice to do anything about it, which right. means really being involved with your process and, and taking out all of the ego constructs of it, the judgment, the, the non-belief and all that kind of stuff. So because it's really important. For this community, even the spiritual superiority, because that's a big one also, we get stuck in that loop. It's a part of the process yeah. too, but, but what I will tell people is there is a part of the process that that's necessary because you're building your inner, I'm gonna use the word inner ego to, to explain inner power. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, let's say, because the ego, we didn't understand how deep the ego was embedded in us and, and how it played out in every capacity. And, and people go, oh, the ego, this ego. No, it's, it's much, it's, it, it's grander it is, than right. that. And so every aspect of our reality, if it is not of our purest place inside of us, it's ego. If it's not of unity and love and, and the, the deepest, most profound place of respect, and, and that's the thing about it is when you start working with unity consciousness from within you, there's a level of respect missing on the human part. There's right. no respect for each other. There's no respect. This is about respecting each person's energy because your energy becomes your spirit. Your energy becomes your soul. Your energy is your light body. And when you transition from old earth to new earth, you function on a light body. And for your light body to activate where light is running all through you and activating and turning all these codes on and it's transmitting all these frequencies and this knowledge and this information and then the field turns into this entire field of knowledge. And, and, and you, through your electromagnetic field of consciousness, you become this electromagnetic field. And, and you expand so far beyond your body that you're this consciousness with a body in it right. for a while. And your body will go through a whole lot of things. It cannot hold the immensity of the photonic light. The cosmic rays are off the charts compared to before. And those um, activate different frequencies in our body. And I didn't realize to the magnitude until recently, because we get to see certain things so that we can then share. Our role is to share the knowledge. Our role is to share. And so humans don't share. We're guardians of the information that's being transmitted through us. We're guardians of the earth. Yeah. We're guardians of Gaia. We're, uh, guardians. Feel that We're guardians of everything. Right. We're the guardians here. And when you step into that guardianship role, you assume a certain level of responsibility to, to hold the absolute highest state of consciousness all of the time and not go back and fight in the human anything else. But then it gets emanated not from responsibility but out of love. The heart expansion, it just, it just propels that sharing forward. Well, and, and it emanates from your field, so you really don't have to do anything other than be it. Right. And, and the challenge is when people are challenged or, or it gets tough, it's your human aspect, it's your ego that's being challenged. I call him Hugo, human Hugo, ego. Hugo, I love Hugo. that. I, know. I, I, I gave him a name. <laughs> But, so, so let's talk about the collective for a moment because it's really important. There are different collectives. And so people think the collective and New Earth is a collective too. It's a collective of beings, of light beings. Now right. all of us as light beings, as star beings, as galactics, as angelics, as elementals. It, it's when you start activating all these aspects of yourself, your Lemurian aspect, your, your Atlantean aspect, but we have to, each one of our aspects when you get into the galactic, you've got a, a gazillion different aspects too. Each one of our aspects carries distortions that have to be cleared. So that's why we start feeling like we're all over the place and, and sometimes we're psychotic and you start questioning your sanity. Oh, and, yeah. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and all of the polarity that's involved is that as a human, we were so unconscious and asleep, then you're going to the other extreme 
to then come back to balance and sun. So you're clearing the distortions on every level. So a lot of people, especially like for me, I, I chose the extreme, which meant when it was time to wake up, I went to the extreme in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And I had to stay in that extreme place for a really long time in order to counterbalance the happening so that you can hold that balance inside of you and there's no more distortion. Right. Anymore. Um, clearing those distortions. The funny part about photonic light is when you're clearing those distortions, your reality distorts. Oh, we explain that more. Okay. Photonic light distorts your reality, so it makes distortions really loud. They scream at you. Okay. So, but your mind will actually bend because you, you access plasma energy inside of you. And what happens is your neural pathways of your brain become the universal corridor in the beginning. And they'll start photonic light will actually zoom, zoom, zoom through your brain and, and full of lights will come on. All this weird stuff starts happening. And, and, and as it moves through your body and activates your crystals, that's when the itching starts, the star particles. So there's a lot of stuff that occurs on a physical level as your DNA is activating. It's your higher consciousness, your multidimensional DNA that's activating, and it's rewriting your entire genetic makeup of your body so that you can function on a multidimensional level because the crystals in your body, diamond light code consciousness, if we refer to rain, the rainbow consciousness, well then you, once we have rainbow consciousness, then you move into cosmic rainbow, and that's completely more. Wow. So, so everything, once you get into the cosmic frequencies, and let's say we've completed all these different phases and processes and initiations, and the initiations are to see if you can hold the vibration, if you can be mm -hmm. that energy, yeah. if you can be that aspect all of the time. And, and each one of us are constantly challenged with our physical reality to see what we're going to believe. Reflections are going to be manifest on the outside so we can experience them and go through, can we hold that or do we need to go through that? And what we're going to do, because you're going to, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, what are you going to choose? What do you, and, and you know, when you get into becoming your soul, then it's reclaiming of all of your aspects and the fractals and bringing them all back here. And then you function from zero point field in every moment and you become pure source light. You become the creator of all of your realities. And every moment then is birthing realities into fruition, birthing them into the new. Birthing these real and you birth them with your body. Literally, your belly will blow up. You'll have, you know, some of us are like, <laughs> we're going through labor pains and, and, and it's expansion <laughs> and contraction yeah. and, and it gets weird as, as it works through your lymphatic system. Every light body phase has a different nervous system. Every light body phase has a different um, immune system. And, and so we're constantly going through what it's doing is it's fine tuning your system to function on light. Okay. And so every organ has to be reworked. Every, every, the blood, all the liquids in the body, when we, we go like yesterday, heating up on a cellular level, our, our cells go atomic, which when we hit atomic phase, the atoms, you get, you have the nucleus and I know I'm hopping all over the place, but it's called quantum. It's because we're bringing all these things into the space. But, um, when we go nuclear, then that's when a lot of people have eruptions. That's when the earth will have eruptions. When, when, when we hit on an atomic scale, that's when a lot of people's emotions will come up. And but once you clear all of those emotions, they were the distortions because all you have is love. And, and so it, it's a clearing everything that, that isn't pure love. And it's not a human love. It, it's this very pure, sacred, divine love. And, and, and that's the foundation of all of your realities. Every relationship you have is built on, on this pure love that has no need, has no lack. Um, there's no lack of power. There are no victims. There, there, it, it, it's all gone, which is beautiful. But on a multidimensional level, we can't function as a multidimensional fully because there's still so many programs in the body and they're represented by our thoughts. And they're represented by our emotions, which is what a lot of people are going through right now is a massive cleanse right. as their body wakes up because the body was asleep too. And we didn't realize the magnitude that the body played in this for many, many years. Oh, the intelligence in the body is profound. My body's been going through these changes and awakenings and it talks to me. When something's not aligned, if the rest of me isn't listening, my body kicks right in and, and makes sure that um, 
you can actually just hear your DNA talking. It will actually tell you, you can hear, I used to call it telepathic communication with my body because like, like a lot of people, when you walk yeah. around, I've yeah. never put it together like that. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's energetic communication. For sure. Mm -hmm. and, and so your whole body will speak. It'll talk to you and it will tell you everything. And when you start to listen to it, and basically it's the unification and the integration of, of your soul that used to float around out there or, or a lot of people like when we die we go to heaven or whatever game people want to play in. it doesn't really matter belief system but basically what happens is when when you ascend to the fifth dimension with your body then then you embody your soul is that embodying our higher self we know we, we talk it's so much about our higher self and being out there but is it embodying it's and inside Inside. Your higher self is where you come from. And so if you, in the beginning, we would have to stop and check and ask because we didn't hold the vibration to be our higher selves. So a lot of us hold on and let me ask, or a lot of us channel to, right. to, to get it from a different source and, and stuff. But when you start embodying the source of, of all creation, when you start embodying that, and you will actually go back and have the experience of falling from consciousness you will go back and actually have the experience. It's like a near-death experience, but you're wide awake and you're fully present and your body's here, but your consciousness can be in many different locations all at the same time. A lot of people, there are human words that, that describe the process that really aren't quite complete, but a lot of people call it by locating. Okay. And so there's different things. You're projecting your consciousness. You can project your consciousness into different realities. Um, pine, the pineal gland. As our heart opens fully, our pineal gland comes online. And so like I was telling John yesterday, I lived from my pineal gland, I access to all the other dimensions. Well, all those realities have already occurred. And so basically you're walking around in realities that have already happened and you do each day what brings them into reality here and then they just arrive. And there's really no surprises except when you first walk out of the third and the fourth dimension with your body into the fifth dimension you're walking upon faith and the unknown mm. and, and even eve and i were talking about that y'all see eve up in the corner because she's going to help us Not take you. questions a little while <laughs> so she's she my buddy um <laughs> but when you get when, when it was time for me to physically ascend i had to hold an ascended state of consciousness on a human level you're ascending but on on a higher self level you're descending and right. so you're descending and ascending basically all at the same time while you're descending and ascending you're unifying inside so you're bringing it all inside your body the challenge for the human aspect is to hold that level of consciousness that state of consciousness in every exchange that that highest state of consciousness because what will happen for the human aspect is they allow the external reality to influence theirs. Instead, we realize the external reality is our creation. The external reality is a projection of consciousness. It's the end of victimization. It, it is, yeah. yes. It, 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 and multidimensionality actually brings humanity through to a much higher state of consciousness. So, so you don't have any of the old junk anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. You're not, it, you don't experience it in your reality. It doesn't appear. It, it, it's because these are materializations and dematerializations of realities. And, and so understanding how reality comes to materialize into the physical is an understanding that your consciousness dictates reality. Okay. And so if you're unconscious, that's dictating an unconscious reality. Does that make sense? That does make sense. So if you're fully conscious, which means your heart is wide open and your mind is wide open. So we didn't understand in the beginning that our heart can be somewhat open. And pe there are a lot of people, and, and even for me in the beginning, was rocking around going, my heart open, my heart's open. No, it was open that much. Yeah. It's got to be wide. Open. No more protection mechanisms, no more need to hide. You're, you're fully being your light. And we call it coming out of the closet. I love that. Yeah. As a multidimensional, you got to come out of the closet. You have to be willing to be seen, step into your roles. Because we all, every one of us, have really important roles here. And we minimize ourselves and we discount these things. And 
you know, one of the biggest things is that we, we make excuses or we apologize for being awesome. That's the thing, making ourselves seem smaller. That's been the biggest calling for me lately, like stepping yeah. into the leadership role. Yeah. And, and we're all leaders. Everybody on this call, you all are leaders. And it's, it's really owning yeah. what it is and being unapologetic about it because no why would you apologize about the love that you're gifting to someone else it's, and the it's joy ludicrous. and the phys when we get into new earth being physically abundant people start feeling bad because they're happy while everybody else is having a rough day and i went through it too it's like stop feeling bad for being happy because you did all this work you transcended all of that stuff inside of you but that brings me back to the point of maturity we're bringing in joy we're bringing in happiness we're bringing in love from a level of maturity not from the child self that needed something to be satisfied it comes with this awareness it comes with the work that we've done it comes with the enlightenment that has enlightened us to be able to share our light exponentially okay. right and you have to pat your okay so, so this is the thing about it is when we start doing this you will get no recognition for the work you do inside of you because nobody can see it and they don't understand the pineal glands activate and you're work, walking in multiple dimensions you know and you have all these things going on and, and you know you show up each day you do things because they're kind you do things because they make a difference you're not seeking recognition for anybody from anybody for the things that you do but the humans running around wanting recognition yeah. and, and so it's a very different place you're doing this because you, but you have to give yourself the recognition that's the key right. because you're not seeking anything from outside anymore. You validate yourself. You don't need validation from other people. Now it's kind of cool every once in a while when somebody says something it's like, yeah, I already got that. And, and sometimes it does. Validate that's inspiration. It's, it's more than yeah. just validation. It's inspiring you to even grow bigger. And I love those signs. That exactly. Come in. Yeah, exactly. So, so you shift from a place of needing it to it being a compliment. And then it fuels even more. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the inspiration is inside of you and, and, and you have this inner drive, which, which goes, is your root chakra, goes from fear and all of the old things to when you clear your root, root chakra completely, then it becomes your soul drive. And, and so that's where your drive emanates and your determination emanates. And then you come up through the, the sacral. And then we didn't know for a really long time until I actually started experiencing myself is there was a new chakra in the middle between the solar plexus and the sacral, and it's a new earth chakra. So every time you're giving birth to new realities, your belly blows up oh, wow. in photonic light. Um, the phase we're coming into right now is, is it's all going to be about a lot of courage for people and, and inner power. And we've integrated the cosmic rainbow light body, the rainbow warrior energy. So there's going to be a lot of Ooh, stuff like that's that. coming through into Gaia's template. So the gatekeepers and the grid keepers, everything that we do, we get to see what occurs for Gaia and universally and cosmically all simultaneously all at the same time. And so we can see what accomplishments ha ha have occurred for all the people who have dedicated their life to being gatekeepers and grid keepers for the world. I love it if you tone down the word courage because it, it, it can be so big and can be frightening for a it's lot of people. inner courage. Right. And so it's, I love you explain a little bit more and, and the energy that it emanates as, as opposed to the, um, the diminutive meaning behind it because, again, there's... It's from love. Okay. It's, it's, it, there's a difference in this. It's not a courage from weakness. It's not a or courage fighting. from fear. It's right. not a courage from fighting something. It's a courage to stand in your power and be your light. It's a courage to just take on the whole world and say, no, this is our new reality. Right. It's, it's an embracing. Thank you. Of yes. the new instead of, uh, but, but when we first start, if you will, waking up from transitioning out of old earth to new, because there is a transition process that occurs where you kind of have one foot in each world. And you kind of got to take the foot out of old earth and just jump completely over it. It's a wobbly field. I know it well. <laughs> and, yeah. and the foundation for your reality is unstable for a while, too, because it's all energetic. It's, it's in the moment what do you feel. In the moment, what do you see? And I take everybody deep inside because it's the faster path to your answers being very clear. And, and learning how to communicate with your light body. And so we didn't understand, you know, so like for me, when I work, I work, I can, I can go for 20 hours a day and not even miss a beat because I function on a light body. And my light body, as long as it supports your soul purpose,
purpose, you will have plenty of energy. This is where you have to kind of get picky in what you're allowing in your field of consciousness because if you allow things that are a distraction, if you allow things that are not supporting you, if, you will, if you're tying your energy up in things that are not of your highest consciousness, then, then you're playing in a lower state of consciousness in an old program, which is karmic. And the other day I wrote out, I was speaking to somebody and the words came out. There's no reality with duality. Oh, wow. Because it's duality, amazing. reality is collapse. Wow. And so if you're playing in a dualistic reality, it is going to collapse. It's going to dissolve. So for us, and we're entering a time of resolve, resolve everything. Resolve everything through love. Resolve everything. Let it go. Move on. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Only you do. And so you start paying attention to what you invest your time and energy in. Because eventually time, energy, money, all of these things that come the exact same. Thing. There's no difference. And so where we waste our energy, then we waste our infinite inheritance is the word that's coming wow. through. Wow. Oh, I love that. Okay. Where we waste our energy, we waste our infinite inheritance. And so you wow. become very picky from a place of love in what you're going to invest your resources, your time, your energy, your money. Everything has to be aligned on the, from the highest state. Now, I'm finding that the energies that are coming in are really supporting the alignment towards that. And anything that's off is so disparate from my energy that it hurts. Yeah, energetically it's, it does. It's painful. It's exhausting. I can't function. I have to yeah. eat more or support myself in ways to try to ground into a reality that's not mine. And, and that doesn't work. The grounding doesn't work anymore. Grounding doesn't. You don't want to ground. You want to fly and you want to anchor and you, and you want to embody. And you want to hold that frequency. You want to hold that level of consciousness. You want to hold that state of consciousness. You want to hold it. There's a difference between grounding. Now, we do, we call it earthing. You can go out on the earth. And when you connect with nature, it's easier to bring clarity through. It's easier to align. It's easier to balance the magnetics of your body and your field, because your body and your field have to all synchronize at the same frequency too. Now the foods are gonna be all over the place for a while because each light body phase, each DNA activation requires different types of foods. Salt and chocolate, love salt that. And salt is the plasma light bulb. Uh -huh. Okay, potato chips, lots of carbohydrates, which were not on the menu from the old human, and you basically have to get over your judgment uh, or your beliefs. Um, regurgitated beliefs of so-and-so said, or I heard that you go inside and you ask, what does yeah. my body tell me it wants right now? Well, it wants potato chips. And the reason I'm saying this is because now, now when we're out of alignment, then we're feeding a lack of it or a need. And so there's a difference because before I woke up and became fully conscious, I was feeding my lack and my need. And your body can't process the emotion. Your body can't right. process the foods. Your body can't process. So you have to get your body completely clean. And then your light body kicks in and then food becomes fusion. So, so food serves a different purpose, but it also supports the body in the breakdown process. Okay. Because your body will need certain foods so it can actually break down. So when we're activating really high crystalline frequencies, and plasma frequencies, the body wants carbohydrates. When we're in really strong crystalline frequencies, it wants sugars. So for me, it was, and, and you switch your proteins too, so you end up going to peanut butter and, and you know all of these things. Your body will tell you which phase it's in, and it might be in this moment, frequency might change, and the next moment you're in a different phase. Because it can right. be all over the place and it gets really tricky because you can be eating something and go, oh, I can't eat that anymore. And it's like it's gone. Yeah. It was your favorite thing for five days in a row. Mm -hmm. It's like, nope. Well, yeah. and the tricky part is when the cosmic rays kick in. When the cosmic rays kick in, then your body starts releasing radioactive frequencies, radioactivity. Mm -hmm. And so the radioactivity in your body is actually killing off all the old programs where they were held on a cellular level. When you're introducing live foods and your body's trying to kill stuff off, it's interfering with the process. It'll actually make you sick, oh, nauseous. Okay. You can't eat live foods when your body's going through the breakdown process. Your body actually wants comfort food so it can relax. 
Right. And so the comfort food allows your body to relax so that it can break down easily. It surrenders to the breakdown. And, and then it will rebuild. So, so once you've completed that breakdown process and integrated all of that light, then you wake up, make rock and roll, full of energy. You only want live foods. That means you completed that process. Okay. And then you're able to function linearly again. When your body's going quantum and non-linear, then you, you have to be laying down. If you're standing up, when you stand up, you notice how some days you feel weak? Oh, yeah. That means your body's going quantum. And, and if you try to push your body when it's going weak, it's in the breakdown process. And you'll notice there will be times that you won't be able to read. Mm -hmm. Or, or interrupt when your body is trying to reconfigure what happens is you have linear constructs within your cells and when those cells start to break down they reconstruct themselves with with geometric shapes and so when when your body is breaking down if you're introducing things into your field it interrupts the tuning process for your body to actually change its overall complete Okay, that that sense? Sense? Yeah. So I know we just flip-flopped everywhere. It's kind of how we go. Um, there will be days that you stand up and your body's weak and it's like lay back down. Those are the days you listen to what the body says. And, and you know, a lot of people go, but what about this and what about that? And I can't do this and I have to work and I have to do these things. I actually had to make a choice to honor this process over what was convenient because, and what I, I would tell people is if you see this as an inconvenience, it's going to become a really huge inconvenience. And it hurts, it's painful. When you surrender to the process, my experience is, I know this is happening for a good reason. It has purpose. And in that surrender, I don't suffer through it as You're much. surrendering your ego. Yeah, absolutely. But that's all you're doing is surrendering your ego to your higher self, to your universal self, to your universe. You, you become the whole universe. And that's what I used to tell people is start claiming it's my, it's not the, take away the separation Oh, I love that. Right. It's not the universe. It's your universe. And I used to walk around, my universe loves me. My universe loves me. Thank you, universe. And then you create this whole relationship with your universe where, where you're playing and you're having a blast and, and you're actually listening. You want to know a universe. Well, what happens is when you become the whole universe, there's nobody to ask you. There's no more higher selves either. Uh -huh. You're it and just all the information's in inside and there's no question and you just get up and go do that. Oh. And, and so it, it's a huge transition process. Becoming the whole universe means that when you close your eyes, you're off in space floating around. You're in the stars you're, you're, and you actually will have the whole experience. And it's a bit bizarre at first because we don't surrender to letting completely go. When we start to expand, the human, we'll call it vertigo, okay? You have to let go of the human roots. Mm -hmm. When you start to expand your consciousness and your body starts wobbling all over the place and you start losing gravity and, and you can't focus because your pineal gland's kicking in, you're in crystals in your eyes, talk about multidimensionality, your whole body changes how it functions so that you can actually, new earth, the color to, colors are really vibrant. You can actually sit here. He was sitting here with us yesterday and it's like, okay, rainbow frequency just kicked in and all the color just, outside just started popping. And, and you actually are transitioning to a whole new dimension where there's different colors. Now, when, when we're shifting between different dimensions, everything will go silver and all the color will go. Away. And you can actually watch your outside world and see which dimension you're in. The clouds have different shapes mm. in each dimension. Linear clouds are very clear and crisp and cut. Electromagnetic frequencies. Um, see those? There's no lines at the bottom of these clouds. Right I now. see that, right. That's because the linear is gone. You see the cloud below it, how it's got little lines around mm -hmm. it? Well, that represents how much linear is available. So you can actually watch all the clouds. It's really cool. That's really fun. Your whole reality is an illusion block. Your whole reality is encoded with information. Your whole reality will show you everything you need to know so you can identify the dimension you're in so that you can actually tune your consciousness to a completely different dimension. And, and you basically pull that one into this reality. When you hold an expanded state of consciousness, you're pulling those realities. 
atmosphere, which is a part of your electromagnetic field. And so when we're pulling information from the collective, we're pulling information for what many is the matrix, and we're experiencing the matrix as our own again. We're going through those programs again. Well, yes and no. And the reason I say that is because each person has their own matrix system. Okay. So everybody, here's how I explain it, because this is how we, we saw it years ago, is that every person in December 2015, I'm using linear time as a reference point right here, because linear time ceases to exist and it's just a thing you use, okay? Um, you don't function within linear time, you function from the quantum field of consciousness and you, you see linear time and you basically restructure your whole reality to function within that linearity in, in all new ways. Each person has a field of consciousness that they walk around in, how much they become that field or are separated from that field determines their level of separation from their higher consciousness existence. Okay. okay. Now, in order to become the field of consciousness, you have to decode the entire matrix system yours. It's your matrix, it's your reality, and how I started understanding it for me was that I created all this so they were my code, which meant was I had to learn to decode my own reality and figure out what codes I set up for myself. And so every time I saw a grasshopper, I mean, I was, cra I was quantum jumping. And, and it's so funny because I can post that and everybody goes, yeah, we got them too. Well, they're a part of that matrix system with you, but it's a different matrix system. Okay. Okay. So you have the matrix system. It's an entire networking system. It's an entire, your, the density of your physical body, whether it's carbon based or crystalline, dictates the matrix system you belong to. Okay. And the reason I say that is because you can expand completely beyond the old matrix system and not even see it anymore, but you can still hold some programming in your body. So when that collective is clearing, the program will come up within you because that vibration was still inside. Right. But you're not bound by that collective. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. So, so what, it, yeah. what happens is when, when the human ego gets involved, then it believes it's bound by that collective. And you're not bound by the collective unless it's your belief. Part of your matrix it's part of your matrix system and so you, there are matrix programs and there are matrix systems well your body every organ in your body is a part of that system your, your whole body makes up the entire galaxies the solar system all of the planets are inside of you they're not out there the whole if i want to tune to solaris or or, or the solar sign, if I want to change the clouds, I, if I want to open portals, I just close my eyes and go inside and go into my, and, and you can tune inside your body and you can change the whole outside world. Wow. It's so cool because it's all inside. But Lisa, it, Lisa called in rain before we got here, so it cool off upstairs. And yeah, I'm sure like, okay, please, please let it, please, you know, do this, and it did, and so we moved the whole interview up here and set it downstairs because I like being up here and set it downstairs. I, I didn't want it to be a linear discussion. I wanted it to be on the couch. On the couch. <laughs> you guys having couch conversations with us. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So when you realize it's your matrix program and that all of the people that hold those beliefs, then they're a part of that matrix too. And so when you clear the belief and where the program is held in your body on a cellular level from your body template, then you get to exit that matrix program. How do we clear the belief from our body? How's that happening? And I know that we have these waves coming in and radiation. And it's many and the solar things. Winds, right? It's basically dedicating yourself to the embodiment of your soul. Okay. I mean, that's one way. There's so many ways to do this. And I tell people, do them all. Hmm. There is no right way or wrong way to do this. It's the one that brings you the greatest ease and the fastest capability to integrate your own life. Your light means it's your soul. Well, the, for a long time, it, it, your light is you as a star being. They're all the same thing. They're only separated into belief systems and mentalities so that people can identify with a certain aspect. And each aspect of us has a different energy, a different feeling. And so when my Syrian would kick in, then, then here comes the no BS and step up people, let's do this because Syrian energies are, are no BS. 
no, you know, step up, let's do this. You, you cut all the junk out. But when your Arcturian activates, your heart's wide open. It's this, this purest form of love you have ever felt. It'll bring tears to your eyes and your whole body just opens up. But, but the key is to maintain that aspect and to be that aspect in every exchange with every person and how you live your life. It's how we treat. Now it's about cosmic frequencies focus on our relationships. They focus on our behavior. They focus on how we treat each other okay. and whether we really care. They focus, they bring through higher consciousness humanity codes. And when they hit your body, they're intense. And I was down for the count all of January integrating the codes into my physical body. I remember that. And now the key is when you ask, how do we do that? You basically surrender your human ego aspect to your universe and ask, what do I need to do? For me, I didn't know that my body was dying before 2010. My whole body was shutting down. My organs went into failure. My, I went through complete, um, I was going through ego death with my whole body. Not everybody needs to go through that though. No, unless unless you're really masculine and strong and asleep and unconscious, then, then you do. Okay. Because that's the path you choose is the harsh. Now, the reason we do the work we do is so that if somebody says, I realize I've got a really strong ego, I want to start, I want to start dissolving my ego. Right. It's just a conscious choice. You can actually do this by being exposed to higher consciousness mm -hmm. and accepting it as the thing that's going to make the difference in your life. If you respect higher consciousness as to what's going to make the difference, you're, you're respecting yourself as a higher consciousness. You're, you're respecting everybody else that, that, that brings through higher consciousness. And you're understanding that it's the answer to what you've been seeking all along. And every person on this earth, higher consciousness is what saves humanity. Right. But it's not being saved. Because we get into the Christ of frequencies and we get into the distortions of all of that. And a distortion of Christ of consciousness is trying to save everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we all had it. Okay. It's a part of the process. It's part of the process, right. And when you clear the need to save everybody and instead move to an understanding that each one of us chose this journey, it's a respect level. You respect each person's choices, whether they're unconscious or conscious. The difference is you become the example. And there's no wrong, there's choice. It's and that's choice. the thing, it's not judgment. And once we go to the judgment, yes. the flow opens, the heart expands. Yes. It expands our ability to receive in the greater level and it integrates. And so it speeds up that process. Well, and this is this, this means really expanding to understand that you are respecting their chosen experience on a soul level. What happens is everybody wants to save everybody from that experience. Right. Not understanding that that experience is what's going to activate their soul. That's going to save them. They're going to save themselves. And, and everybody's trying to right. save everybody from the discomfort of the soul coming through. Well, the discomfort of their soul coming through is the death of their ego. Right. And so everybody's trying to avoid the death. That's where you get all the urgent, 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 and hurry up and the fear-based tactics and all that kind of stuff. And it's all ego game. Yeah. And so... It's, it's basically stopping everything and, and closing your eyes and going so deep inside that you can connect. You go beneath the fear. You go beneath the judgment. You go deeper than the surface stuff. You go as deep as you can inside. When you start going really deep, the tears are going to come. All, all this energy, it opens up, and then your whole body will start to feel. And, and, and it means going so deep inside of yourself that you're, you're willing to do whatever it takes to honor your journey, your process, your soul, no matter what the outside man says. You're willing to die every day. Well, and, and the thing about it is, is all this dying are the mentalities. Exactly. All this dying is the emotions. All this dying is the energy of that. And you're being resurrected. I mean, all of these words apply, they're all metaphor. Right? right, absolutely. And so for a long time, we lived in metaphors. And so now if we can't understand something, I'm like, what's the metaphor? Oh quickly you have your answer right. it, it, but it's not one metaphor it's 12,000 you want to find them all because the one that feels right it's gonna be reverberation going to just open something up there's, and when there's you hit that, knowing yeah, yeah. It, it's an instant knowing and it, it's an instant understanding that doesn't make any logical sense I love that it's not supposed to make so, so when I was explaining to somebody recently 
log human logic and quantum are opposites. Oh, explain more. Human logic and quantum are opposites. You're definitely gonna have to explain more for my for my. So now I'm gonna go one step further. Is that our human intellect is our ignorance? Okay. Okay. The reason I say that is because humans function linearly, which is not vibration. Okay. Quantum is vibration and energy and frequencies and tone and right. geometrics. And we become quantum computers. Literally, we process all this data within this field through us simultaneously 24 hours a day. And, and we have this intelligence and it's through this living DNA. We become the living records of, of all things. But it means being in tune and fully connected on this really deep soul level with everything as it occurs. And what about the containers that we put in, in the constructs and limits? There are no containers. No, it's infinite. There, 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 there is everything is available in every moment if you will actually tune your consciousness. But for the human linear mind, you have to close your eyes to do that because when, when the human's eyes are open, the outside world dictates. Hmm. When the human's eyes are open, and I call human and ego or, or what I call that because once you expand into the cosmos, everybody's a bunch of humans running around. Okay. Unless you can connect with that soul, which has nothing to do with the human body that that person is located in. It's just the form they chose in order to, to, to appear, in order to feel, fulfill certain purposes and roles. We have purposes, missions, and roles. And, and it's human's role, it's human roles, it, it's soul purposes, and it's galactic missions. And, and we do all three. And, but what was the thing I said earlier that you said I'm going to have to explain? is that quantum and linear are the opposite. Right. Okay, linear is thinking, and it's trying to put things in a, in a box and adhere to the set of rules that don't apply on a quantum level. Now, the thing about it is, is our realities, when we become quantum energy, then every reality, and it's funny because this is the course I'm writing right now, is quantum too. So everything has algorithms and everything is about logistics and everything is quantum mechanics. It's the mechanics. You, you actually see the constructs of every reality through geometrics be, because you have access to everything on a quantum level. Quantum physics is our language on the soul level. And, and, and so when, when I started act, activating, and you will activate these naturally, and that's the beauty of this. It's a natural evolution. Okay, this is a very natural process if we will allow it to occur, which will be foreign to our human. And, and so, you're we're not to linearly understand this, you have to understand this with your whole being. You have to feel the truth, you have you identify your realities by the way they feel, and, and the more you connect through your feelings, your pure feelings, not the distorted. Okay, we clear the distortion. So those of us who, who live multidimensional existences, it's not that we don't have program, programs, we understand them and they're just holographic things that appear. Right. And it's like, oh, it's just a hologram, it's not even real. Oh, but my cells are clearing, like some heavy duty energy and you honor that process, but you can do a busy and other things all at the same time because you don't get stuck in the story. And you have the awareness that something's transcending instead of something stuck. You're transcending. Right. Well, yes. You're transcending. Yeah. You're transcending the entire reality and you're welcoming in all, a bazillion uh -huh. new ones. Yeah. And so, in the beginning, I use in the beginning a lot because every moment is a new. Every moment is a rebirthing process. Every moment is a resurrection. Every birth, every moment it, you're the phoenix and, and you know, you have all these energies and stuff like that. But in, in the beginning, when we started waking up to these new realizations and understanding, one of the important things to understand was that, you know, so a lot of people, we had to be taken back to zero point field before we could understand the purpose of everything, we, before we could understand the reasons uh, so, so that we could actually understand and stop wasting 
and start respecting and all of these things, a lot of us chose the harsh paths to teach us what we didn't want to listen to. And that's the harsh or the easy. If you don't want to listen, then you're, the moment you say, I don't want to listen to that, you activate a reality to teach you. Let me ask this. When we were, many of us who suffered as children and had those upbringings also, that was, was that, one of those. that was one of those? Was I, that, I was. Yeah, oh, you were most of, of us yeah, were. Star of beings chose were. the harshest, by right. the way. And technically, everybody's a star being. Well, but was it a preparation for what's coming up now and to allow us to get into the awareness so that we can transcend faster? Oh, well, you know, there's so many answers. Okay, yeah, so yeah. one, in a way, yes. It was your chosen, okay, it was your Akashic records. Ah, okay. I'm going to explain it in many different ways. It was your Akash that you were living out. It was your chosen human experience. Now here's the tricky part. The harsher the experience, the further we separated off from ourselves as source. Yes. And the further we separated off from source, the more we had to learn to love ourselves. And so for those of us chose the realities that let's say didn't have that pure love then we had to find that within ourselves and transcend all of those experiences because they represent our own separation from our self as source okay. as pure light. Right. And so for like me, I chose because this was my first earthly incarnation. So I chose it all in this existence so that I could understand it. So I could teach it, explain it and, and do it and transcend it and all of these words we use. But when you choose a reality where there's very little or no love, then you don't have a reference point. So you kind of have to learn everything from scratch. Right. And so which means that you don't, we separated off into survival modes and mechanisms. And there's a survival level of awakening we all have to transcend too that I didn't know until I did it. And a lot of this we don't know until we did it. Okay. Nobody knew. Before the 2012 gateway, or actually 2011, when most of us started going through multidimensional merges and, and stuff like that, and being able to hold that, um, nobody had ever had the multidimensional experience or physically ascended yet, which means that our job was to share the knowledge as we did it for everybody else as they come through to make it easier so that each person doesn't have to take the long scenic route through everything. It's funny, and it also seemed like the depth of the linear mode of being had to be facilitated also for us to be able to receive it in the way that we're beginning to receive it And now. linear is the ego. Right. They are the exact same thing. Okay. Now the cool part is, the more you unify inside of yourself on a soul level, then your body template clears the separation of time. So time ceases to exist as you clear your own separation. As you unify, then all the other times fall away. Right. So, so it's a part of the unification process. So you asked me earlier, how do we do this? Just say. That's the beauty of this. All you have to do is say, I'm ready. All you have to do is, is be ready. But, but on a human level, we're like, oh, I'm not sure I'm ready yet, or oh, but wait a minute, because it's a control. Or who am thing. I, or whatever, yeah. all these things, right? All you have to do is make that commitment and say, I, I'm ready. And connect. At first, for me, I couldn't connect inside um, because I was still asleep inside. And, and I was talking to you about the numbness. We numbed down, we numbed down and we dumbed down. Mm -hmm. It is with. <laughs> But what happens is when we went numb, we couldn't feel. When the body starts to wake up, it starts tingling right. all over. And that's a part of the awakening process. And there's a numbness that occurs as the body wakes up. Well, that's what a lot of the physical pain people are feeling right now is the body releasing all the emotional pain. Physical pain is emotional pain. So when you clear all of those emotional attachments, all of those emotional stories, all of those emotional um, quantum entanglement, all those entanglements, that, that you have, when you clear all of that, your body will clear the pain that goes along with it. And then you will cease to have any pain until you get deep into the bones. Uh, when, when you enter a, a galactic clearing, then it, it gets a bit intense again, because then your bones are clearing the density and your teeth are clearing the density and they have to expand and contract. So, wow. so um, when your, bod your whole body expands and contracts, every part of your body is 
expand and contract. So you expand as the universe and you contract back down and you expand and it, it, you breathe with Gaia. It, it's actually a beautiful experience wow. through, through, of consciousness when you are, are that connected with everything. Again, everything breathes, everything talks, everything's alive and vibrant. And the colors between old earth and new. So one day I went to Java Cotton. My universe told me to get up years ago. And, and coffee go shop here town. on the island, yeah. <laughs> our, our coffee shop. It was a portal for me. Every time I went in there, I had the most amazing experiences. One day I woke up and it's like, get up and go into town. So I got up and I walked into town because walking in nature will bring your memories back. Being in nature will bring your connection back. Nature will bring you. That's why so many people, it's like, get out in nature. And there's a lot of alone time that you have to have because if you have anything in your field of consciousness that creates a disruption in the field. It's funny because as you talk about nature and we talked about not grounding in, my experience with nature is that I'm floating in nature now, not necessarily like, it causes like you going to in and, and say it's, yeah. it's different. It's a whole different experience. It's very different. Na nature is an expansion process that that you're just you're one with everything as the birds are singing and, and it's act it's actually a beautiful you know like here when i wake up every morning it's a symphony yeah and, and then when your light body activates there's a symphony that goes on inside you can hear the whole universe and all the frequencies and, and stuff and that's a part of the process as well those will actually tune your light body to a higher frequency for you but they will make your human go to sleep because your your human aspect is too dense and, and so the sleep allows your body to upgrade faster and so it used to be if i wanted a new reality i would just go to bed and say okay bring me a new reality and I just go to sleep <laughs> and everybody nice. was out like working really hard and i gotta do this i'm like no i'm going to bed, Turn to bed. And, and and i started understanding that the faster the more i slept the faster i integrated the faster i integrated the more multi-dimensional it's of opportunities and available that become available. So I was going to say this earlier is that in the beginning, we're not given physical world abundance mm -hmm. because we don't understand the purpose of it. Oh, okay. And so we're given opportunity and we're given ideas and we have to become alchemists and we have to utilize those things. And that's, and we use those to create the alchemists. It, it, it's a part of creation. Right. It's a part of becoming creators it, it, on a human level, moving from a left brain to a right brain, and then both, the, but all sides of the hemispheres of the brain actually merge. Wow. And, and and when you do that, then you're you're able to open your pineal gland, which gives you the. But that's done with your heart wide open. So every time you go to sleep, your pineal gland will activate. Every time you sun charge, every time you get out in nature. You have to decalcify your pineal gland. You have all these things you have, have to do. Well, there are things you have to do, but we don't make them as a have to. But um, if, if you want to have the experience, now this is where it gets tricky. It won't be easy for your human. Your human isn't going to like any of this. I love it when you say tricky because I'm like, oh, bring it on. It's so yeah. exciting for me now. What's easier on a soul level and a higher self level, your human isn't going to like. Okay. And so you have to, you identify which aspect you are being in every moment. And, and, and your human is going to go, but I don't like that. I don't want things to be that way. I, I have this to do and all the excuses and the stories and all that kind of stuff. Whereas when you're, when you're fully aligned and connected inside, you don't have any excuses. I love that. And, and there's no fear and there's no doubt and there and the fear is your human the fear the doubt is your disconnected state and so when you're able to reconnect completely inside of you all the doubt and the lack and the lack of trust falls away and so if you can understand that what's easy on a soul level your human isn't going to like if your human wants it it's usually not a lot Right. And so if you can identify which aspect of you, the human living in lack, well, I don't want my relationship to end. And look at all the reasons and the stories and the excuses, whereas when it was time for my relationship to end, I had to choose whether I was going to go to fear or trust. And it's like, nope. I had to choose to elevate my consciousness and become my higher self. And, and, and I had to choose 
to basically hold the higher mind. It's called time, higher timeline. Okay. And so basically you're shifting your consciousness to a higher timeline where there's not no fear. You're shifting your consciousness to a higher timeline, a, a, a different vibrational reality, which represents a different dimension of experience than if you shift back into fear. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. So, so if you recognize, if you're coming from a place of separation or fear or judgment or competition or blame or stories and all the emotional energy that's all caught up in things, that's your ego. But if you're coming from this very peaceful place of purity and kindness and, and, and respect and consideration and, and pure gratitude for everything, then everything's going to be really easy. But your decisions might not be easy because you're now seeing where your realities weren't fully aligned on the soul. Right. And you have to reformat this comfort that you've set up for yourself that you thought was comfort that really wasn't was part of the illusion. We used to say there's no comfort in, in multidimensionality for a while because the human isn't comfortable. Yeah. But that, that's the thing about it is that for those of us who live quantum existences, then it's not that we're not learning. Every moment is, is you're learning, you're seeing, you're understanding, it, it, you're, you're observing. The beautiful thing is I call it the observe. I don't even know what I call it anymore. But... Quantum observance was okay. the word that I used yesterday when I was writing. It is you're observing everything and, and you're able to shift your consciousness to change the entire reality. And, and so on a quantum level, when you shift your consciousness, you are able to actually shift your entire physical experience because your consciousness dictates your reality. It's not the other way around. Right. Now for a human, the external reality dictates what's real. For us, what we see that's already occurred. It's the observer. Is, is reality, everything. which isn't visible in the physical realm because you're reading light codes, you're reading multidimensional experiences, you're you're reading holographic everything, you're you're reading the illusion. It doesn't really matter which words you want to use, they're all they're all different. Copy pot. Oh, okay. So Questions? I think we should go into Q and A, but before we do that, let's go through Lisa's special offer. There's oh, yeah. so much that she's put together here for us, and so everybody that's listening on the webcast, click on the special offer button from our live page. If you can't find it, if you're on the YouTube page, just go to beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash Lisa sixteen, and you'll find what Lisa's compiled for us for for the offering, and it's it's brand new, right? Except for the quantum light activations. Except for the quantum light activations. And the reason I leave that is because people are starting to understand how important those quantum light activations are because they actually work on a cellular level and you kind of don't have to do anything but listen to them over and over and over again. So um, a lot of people have started to understand that if they will just activate, 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 clear, 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 clear on an energetic level, that their physical world can be a whole lot easier. Clear, activate, repeat. Constantly. Yeah. And you're constantly clearing old. You're always going to be clearing old. It's just that the more quantum you become, the more it's just energetic. You're clearing all the and time. there's not really just... anything going on in the physical yeah. reality. And this is where it gets tricky. Is in the old days we thought dimensions were, were higher and somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But now when you walk on the earth, your actual experience shows you the dimension your body's located in. So for me, when I go out about every experience is amazing. And that's my reality. All these other realities you see, or if you go on Facebook, if you that's everybody else's reality. Right. It's only your reality if you've got something going on. It's only your reality if you bring it in vibrationally as your reality. Okay. It's only your reality if it appears in your world. Now, the thing about it is that what a lot of people don't understand is your experiences are to open you apart fully. And, and if you can keep your heart open all of the time in every exchange and come from your very purest place, then the harshness stops. Right. And when you asked me earlier, the difference is that you basically take all the blinders off and you start choosing what's acceptable and you, and you create a whole new foundation built on new earth energy, which emanate from the vibration of love and unity. Right. And, and when it comes to purity, when it comes from unity, 
when it comes from the, this purest place of love and respect and integrity. And it's not integrity to a system. It's integrity to yourself and each other. Right. And that's what we were talking about yesterday is star beings and galactics and, and the holy ones and, you know, the pure ones, all these words that we use, the angelics. We're all here to bring higher consciousness to the earth for everybody to experience the amazingness of, of what this is instead of the old ways that were unconscious before. Unconscious reality is you give your power away and you believe unconscious realities to be reality. Oh, yeah. Whereas fully conscious realities are, are, are experienced, it's your experience. And so if you actually look and step away and observe your whole reality, if it's not aligned with the purest form of respect and integrity and love, then it's a human unconscious reality. Because when, when we entered into the Akashic clearing, now it's, it's karma is just an unconscious program. Well, when everything you do comes from unity and love consciousness, you're creating good karma. I'm going to flip this into human words for a moment. Okay. Well, if every moment of your life is living from that highest place, then what you're experiencing is your good karma. So when you come from generosity and you come from total respect, then that's what you're receiving that reverberates back because most people don't understand that the physical reality is a return vibrationally to what we're transmitting out. Right. So as you walk, you're walking in your transmission. I'm trying to put this in different yeah. ways and stuff. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys. Blah, 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 nothing. It's wonderful. This is a vibrational existence. It's an energetic existence. And if you can't identify the vibration and the energy and understand where you're coming from and where you function from and what you keep allowing. And yesterday, I saw the word knowing, K-N-O-W, and the word N-O capitalized mm -hmm. because you're going to say no a whole lot. No, no, no. That's not my... That's no longer acceptable as my reality. Right. And you start choosing what is acceptable and you determine what's acceptable in your world. So it does mean that's your inner courage and your inner power, but it's from a place of love and respect for yourself. Right. And when you do that, you'll be surprised at how quickly everything shifts and changes. It's fast. Yeah. Because we didn't understand that the program was inside the body. And when you say no and you hold that vibration, from a place of love, then it'll clear your body. And the replacement, the, the reflection, the opposite direction pops in so fast now. Well, and, and the energy that comes through you is so beautiful yeah, yeah. that you're not willing to, to experience anything less than that. No. That this, that what comes through you every time you're kind to somebody, that energy is like, I want more of that. The joy, the pureness of, of seeing somebody else happy, not from a place of lack or need, from the understanding that they're now experiencing the beauty themselves. The expression of their soul, which is so beautiful and that emanates, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's the gift. When you start realizing that every experience is a gift and, mm -hmm. and you're yeah. giving, I give responsibility back. I gift responsibility back to every person to uh -huh. be responsible for their own reality and I take responsibility from mine. And the beauty is that when you stand in this responsibility place from a very pure place, then you're exposing everybody else to what unity, consciousness, and love realities are like. And, and, and the thing about it is, is they don't know these realities exist until they get to experience them through the feeling. And what you're doing is you're cultivating all new realities. You're cultivating all these energies and everybody gets to share in that. And it, it's this, it's a beautiful experience. Well, and we get to experience that, but we're forming the foundation and really the trajectory for what we're birthing. So from that experience, More is what comes from there, right? Nothing but awesomeness. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it truly is magical and amazing, the human words that we use, and, and pure joy. And this can be everybody's reality. It's our new normal. You just, yeah, it, it's your new normal. You just have to choose it, though. And a lot of people aren't willing to choose it because... The human ego wants to control the outcome. And blame. And, and, and blame and, and put responsibility off on everybody else. But it also wants to know before it happened. Well, that's, yeah, I go through that. And lot. you have to let go. You, you don't yeah. need to know, you already know. Yeah. So, so this is this feeling and trusting. And when you know 
completely inside, this is it. this is going to be confused for a while. Mm-hmm. Because this is it. The human mind doesn't run the show. Your higher mind consciousness does. We that's can't reverse really engineer different. anymore. It's different. Yeah, you can. Okay, different conversation. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it, it, it's different, though. It's, it, different. it's living from access to all dimensions and timelines simultaneously. So you're not reversing. You're living. You're living, right. Does and you're calling forward. You're, you're calling it forth. We had to reverse it for a long time right. because we, our whole field spun backwards. Thank you. Yes. And you have to reverse your field of consciousness. The masculine and the feminine all spun backwards. And mm-hmm. so when you reverse both, then they start spinning in a direction. Well, the more you do that, the faster they spin. And then the whole field unifies. And that's when we become the gods of our creation, birthing our realities. Oh, pure source. Yeah. Pure source sight. And, but when you get into the God and the goddess energy, you have to clear out the distortions of that too. Sure. So, and, but you have initiations through every phase. So Christed frequencies, you have initiations. Um, when you get into the Egyptian timelines and, and you don't have past or future anymore, drop the time references. It's not the past, it's not the future. It's, it's another existence, but they're all simultaneous right now. And it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing this. It doesn't matter if it's been three years or five or 20. That's a human game. Right. Okay. Doesn't matter how old you are. Your soul doesn't have an age. And when you live, when your light body is fully activated, your physical body regenerates constantly and it stops de-aging, stops stops aging and it starts reversing the process and de-aging. And so all these different things occur that are not conceivable to the human mind. Right. They're not. So it means really letting go of it. Basically, I tell everybody, throw every belief you have out the window and start from scratch. Wow. And, and when you let all beliefs go, and what, what you have as a belief is the, what you know inside, your truth is going to change in every moment. That's the thing is a lot of people argue with oh, yeah. truth. Oh. Well, the thing about it is, it depends on the dimension you're in as, as to what is true. And so when you expand to, into all of these dimensions, you can see them all. The old 3D, 4D earth, that disappears. You can't even see it anymore. You don't experience it anymore unless you need to be reminded of something or there's a program in your body that needs to be cleared. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like I can see it in other people's realities, but sure. it never appears in mine. Right. And, and stuff. So, so understanding what reality is and, and that is subjective and that is going to change in every moment, what you claim as real, what you believe into reality becomes real. Well, part of this is clearing all those belief systems so that you can believe a whole new reality into into the physical here. And it goes beyond believing. It's a faith and trust. Mm -hmm. And and that expands something that's... It goes from... Well, yeah. It goes from believing into knowing. Okay. Right. It it goes from believing into interconnectedness so that you can see. It's like we were talking yesterday. I said, take everybody where they can see. Mm. It doesn't matter what you think anymore. It... And I take people beyond what they feel a little bit, but you always want to pay attention to the way you feel. But a lot of times you have human emotions all caught up in there. So basically it's like, what do you see? Because you actually have to try harder for a while to stop and open your pineal gland in order to actually see. Well, the more you practice that, the more you get to see until it turns into this massive geometrics and everything is quantum and you can see everything all at the same time. It's really cool. It's a beautiful existence where physical reality is really easy because you've actually dealt with everything and you've chosen. So it means pure, it means choosing right. in every moment what you want your reality to be, what you're going to believe in, where you're going to put your energy, what you're going to invest in. People don't understand. The earth is a complete invest- investment. You don't get to side skirt any of so it means you have to be that invested in it because the return you receive is relative to the investment. Right. So kind of cool. That's very cool. Very All cool. right, let's get to the special offer so we can get the Q&A. Oh yeah, so, I forgot about that. Tell us okay. why these activations, why the special offer? The activations, offer? well, okay, so like this one's a clearing and releasing package. And so what will happen is these help you with clearing your programs and, and it's through new awarenesses. Some people can stay awake during them, some people can't. Um, the, the purpose of most of them in the beginning is to knock everybody out and sleep because you can actually do all the clearing continually in your sleep state and awaken 
and any emotion that comes up, it usually takes a few hours first thing in the morning to clear all of that stuff out because you're still actually in the, most people don't know when you wake up in the morning, you're still in the sleep state uh -huh. okay. for a couple hours. And, and so those first couple hours are, you're still clearing the sleep state from the other dimensions a lot of time. And, and the sleep state, state opens up that access to the other dimensions. But then the sleep state just becomes a place we clear and interact with each other and we activate new realities. But the more conscious you are, the more in a waking state, the more you're conscious you are in a sleep state too. Mm -hmm. And so you actually utilize each state becomes your whole reality instead of there's no separation between the sleep and the wake state anymore. Wow. Okay. So these allow you like cutting cords of attachment and releasing old contracts, cre creating new ones. So these are things that will help assist. I don't like the word help. That's like a lack word. Um, they, these will assist each person with reclaiming their quantum access. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best way I can say it is, you know, returning to love. And it's basically breaking down the old constructs of the long way of doing things. These okay. actually go to the core program. Whether, and, and the thing about it, the reason I do the way I do is because the human will say, but it's not working. Well, they don't understand that it's working on a cellular level and it is working. And because the human expects to see everything right then. Instant gratification, absolutely. Right, and that's not how this works. This goes straight on a cellular level to the core program It works for you. And then you just have to be conscious in your waking state and apply the things that you learn and, and come to understand. And these, the way they're worded, they're transmitted through light codes. So they're recorded through light codes. So when you listen to them, you're receiving light encodement. But if you actually listen to the words or are able to stay awake, which a lot of people can't in the beginning, then they actually explain a process to you that, that bring more clarification and unification inside on a waking conscious state. So you can use them both ways. And so like Eve, she's going to pop in with us in a moment, but she's like really big on the clearing timelines in your sleep and, and would play it like over and over and over and over. And now she's got all her people doing it. And because they found how much easier life is doing these things. Right. Because it, it, it's just so easy when you do. So the, the quantum light activations are a play a moment long while you sleep. The light body, Merkaba activation and unification. It's a unification on a soul level and it activates your light body. But it's important to understand that our human will go, oh, but I did it one time. This is like all the time. This is like every day. We don't understand how thick our skulls were and how strong the ego was. And you're breaking down the ego constructs. The entire matrix system is an ego construct. And you're breaking that down completely. And this will assist with doing that easier so that you can actually be replacing your belief systems with new ones. And so these will actually assist with doing that process easier. But what I tell people is to, you want to flood your consciousness with everything higher consciousness, because you're gonna disrupt the vibrational frequencies of our lower states of consciousness, and you're actually gonna be able to rewrite your consciousness. You rewrite the new pathways for it. You rewrite it faster if, if everything. So when I started doing this, it was sleeping and listening 24 hours a day to whatever resonated with me. And then in my waking state, flooding my consciousness, reading the books, it, you basically come so become so obsessed with your soul mm -hmm. and right. consciousness that it replaces what used to, to yeah. hold your attention. Right. And then what happens is all of your exchanges are our, our conscious ones and they become beautiful exchanges. And it's funny because studying the human reality, the human reality becomes a study course. And, and so you study human reality and then all of a sudden you have all this new knowledge and it actually gives you the capability to, to understand how everything came to be created so that you can actually completely rewrite your entire existence. Become a quantum anthropologist. Quant oh, there it <laughs> right. is. It's beautiful. So, so the quantum light, it's a super package. And, and it's like a ton of activations that I put together that all had a purpose. So one is clearing and the releasing package, which focuses just on those things. The next one is returning to love, which focuses on clearing the things that aren't love. Focus in the things that are of separation. Focusing on, like, the human will get stuck in forgiveness when you basically can throw the whole forgiveness thing out the window. Right. 
which is kind of cool right. because then you have to give, forgive the first time because it's on a human level. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that, if you find yourself having to forgive a lot, you never forget. Right. You never, you never got to the word. Forgiveness of it. is resolving it and completely accepting everything as it is and completely letting it go. It's a complete release of the whole thing. And so this actually puts it in words and vibrationally, and it goes to, to actually activate that. Where quantum light activations go straight to the program for you, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. It does. So that's why everything that I do is light encoded, because it goes straight to the program. Everything we say is, is transmitted on a cosmic, cosmic codes through, through the field of consciousness, and you receive them, and, and your human might not be aware, but on a multidimensional level you are activating and receiving and recoding and all this through the receiving of the coach as they're transmitted to you. And that's true for any of us that do that. It's just the difference is I don't sit here and try to tell anybody how to do it. I release the codes and let them choose how to do it however they want to because everything is conscious choice. Um, and then, hold on, I have to look to my paper here. And this is a robust package. This is so awesome. This is um, the new reality activation package. So it works with assisting you with creating new realities and challenging your current one. Uh, and, and releasing where they're fixed, which is linear, mm -hmm. to, to non-fixed. Because new earth vibrations are constantly changing, and the grid work does this. That's why people feel like there's nothing stable. Right. Is because technically it isn't. But when you tune in through your own field of consciousness, it is. And so it's only unstable for the human aspect because our new earth realities are based upon vibrations and feelings and energies. And when you're completely in tune with those, you, you can maneuver the entire field of consciousness through your connection with it. it it's a living, breathing field that's alive. It's a relationship is. with it. And well, there's and, trust that's built in it also. Well, and all of this is living, breathing, and alive, and you're connected with it through that. So yes very much so. wow. Mm -hmm. wow. and then the light body Merkaba activation which is for physical body ascension and it's a unification process because you have to hold that unified state of consciousness within you the body is a huge transition right now it's huge for yes. so many people it's, it's a yeah. purging I, I don't like the word purging anymore because humans get stuck in the purging word it's a purification process okay. of all unconscious programming where it was housed in the body and which is an immense process and it's a reconfigure on a cellular level, on an atomic level, for for your entire genetic makeup and your DNA to completely recode. I so busted you. Lisa paused at reconfiguration, and it's like, and it's I like, know, I know what she's doing. I can see, I can so see you. And I'm like, anyway, I okay. got stuck on that one. All right, so <laughs> no, anyway. you didn't get stuck. I saw what you were activating. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> this is the quantum light activation package because you can actually just play these and go to sleep and play them and play them and play them and play them. And each time is further unification. Each time is more unification. Each time. And so it actually will reverse your field of consciousness. It, it will do everything for you if you will allow and just basically go all in. So that's one that people can use. And because it's so popular and, and it's helped so many people through the years, then I tend to keep that one at always as an option with you guys because it's so important in the process. Awesome. And so for this one, there's more. Yes, I put together a second one, and then we did the special offer C, which is a combination of both for those of those who don't have the quantum light activation, so they can actually get like a mega deal. Awesome. But the transcending duality to fulfill your higher dimensional soul purposes here. This is where we're going to actually in a group setting. Um, and, and only have the capacity for 500 people, which is me and 499 other people. And actually, somebody's already purchased it, so I've got 498 slots because they go really fast. They go really fast. But what happens is we are actually going to focus on the parts of the process that are important. So we're going to break this one down into three primary categories to focus on the house and to, to bring the answers through. And when you have a group participation, when somebody else is asking the same question you're wanting to know and we're answering those questions, then, then, then it assists the entire group. Because there's a part of this process where we don't believe all of this stuff. And, but the moment somebody else is, oh yeah, I get that, it validates it for it the next it person. Place, right? yeah. And so the group process makes it real. 
because so many people get it. And what you're doing is you're affecting the field of consciousness on a group level, which then affects everything. We're normalizing it for the mind. Yes. And when we normalize it, oh, okay, yes. accept it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that's what this is, is for people to understand that multidimensionality is your new reality. It's your now reality. It's your current reality it's to walk around in your physical reality and identify every little aspect of your reality in which dimension that represents. Every person represents a different dimension. Every experience represents, it gets really cool and fun because all of a sudden you have all this new knowledge you didn't have before. And with that knowledge, you have power. And with that power, you can affect anything, which is absolutely beautiful. So when you come into an exchange, so with this, it's going to be answering the questions on the how. And, and how to use this to benefit your current life. Wow. So oh, that's, That sounds fun. And this is live. So yeah. we're going to do this live. And I set it for August 4th to give everybody with your, with, with your summit the ability to join us that wants to. And then after we hit the 500, it'll be available for replay to all of the 500 and then everybody else. So if we max out at the 500, then it will only be available via replay. It'll be an evergreen product that people can purchase and... Say that again? It'll be an evergreen product. So in other words, it'll be, it just won't be live. It'll be something that you can listen to on a recording. Oh yeah, well, yeah, and yeah. you still receive the encodes. Absolutely. You're still being activated. It's just if you want to participate live, then, then you got to be one of those five yeah. or 498 people. So. But it's identifying and understanding duality. And, and because we didn't understand how deep the ego went, then, then once you go through this and you transcend all of that, then you have all that information to share and it makes it easier to decode the entire matrix program. With. So what we're gonna do is, is, is bring in the information on how to identify these things easily so that, like, like for the people I work with one-on-one, -on -one, instead of it taking years and years and years, then it might be, boom, the moment you call it out, you have the ability to completely change your reality. Yeah. So it can be that fast. So it's really expediting and accelerating a process where instead of being weeks and months and years can be like boom right then. That's so funny because I want to take the word acceleration, say get into our current moment and everything else is a deceleration that we're choosing. It, it, right? it, it's so cool. Isn't yeah. It yeah. Yeah. And when you become fully conscious within the moment, you, you can accelerate everything right. so easily because these, these, the vibrational frequency of the earth is now the atmosphere too. And, and so it's an acceleration of our higher consciousness DNA. And if you kind of aren't on board and don't understand that, that's when you kind of fall through it backwards. So it's about just bringing that understanding through. If you're really open to the understanding, we provide the understanding, the information right. through like encodements to make everything so much easier. So it's providing those tools and resources that make everything so much easier so that you can actually, and the reason I did this, so part two is mind, body, emotion, spirit, soul connection from a multidimensional perspective. So once we've gone through this, we understand it so much more than we did than from our human perspective years before. And, all, and the reason for this, part three is stepping into fulfilling your higher and highest soul purposes by embracing your own light. The reason being, I'm doing this is because the, the, the constant message for everybody is step up. It's time. It's time to step into oh, your yeah. roles. It's time to be the way shower. It's time to be the gatekeeper. It's time to be those group keepers. It's time to bring, it's time for everybody to do this. And so when you understand duality, you can shift it to unity and their opposites. So it's really understanding all of that. So, so we're going to identify how polarity plays out in each person's world. And the cool part to understand is that the, the higher vibrational frequencies, they focus on everything. So I don't think you and I have had this conversation, but we get rid of the words dark and light. Mm -hmm. Okay. So lately I've been giving people new words and the words are heavy or light. Ah, okay. Because anything that's of an old unconscious reality, it's going to weigh on you as something heavy. Okay. And when you start understanding it's heavy, then it's anchoring you in the lower dimensions. And you're bringing the body's awareness into it and as well. And you're bringing the body's awareness into it. And the thing about it is, is the moment that you see, well, that's weighing on me. 
that's heavy, then, then you basically look at it and say, now how am I going to lighten my load? How mm -hmm. am I going to shift all of this? And, and, and it's so quick and so easy and all. And um, there's a lot of this. When you're anchoring photonic light in your body, you're heavy. You feel dropped. Mm -hmm. But once you integrate the light, you're lighter again. And then your reality, anything that's not aligned is heavy, it switches. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. So, so we're going to be focused on um, how to identify all of these things so everything can be so much easier and provide the tools for boom, 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 quick, quick, quick. Right. Which is what everybody wants. And have fun in the group in the process, which oh, yeah. is amazing. Oh, Come this on. is so cool. cool. So again, everybody listening, go to the special offer button on the webcast page. If you're listening to this or watching um, from our site, if not, you can go to beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash Lisa 16 and it'll take you to that same page. And you can add to the shopping cart. Again, the live component's limited to 498 people now. Um, Probably, take less advantage of now it. But... Probably less by now. Probably less by now. It's uh, we'll let you know when it runs yeah. out, but definitely we'll take advantage you. of it. And how exciting! Oh, so and wonderful. and we go four hours. Um, I, I think I set this one at four hours, but I often run over some of my community stuff. And not to scare you guys, but some of my community stuff we started trying to do within two or three hours. And when you go quantum, people are like, oh, I can't go that long. Yes, you can, because you're functioning in zero point field. People bring their pillows, their blankets. They bring their pillows, and they camp their blankets. Out and... We go 10 hours, 14 hours, 20 <laughs> hours. We don't even miss a beat. And, and the cool part is, like, oh, it felt like no time. It's like it's over already. Yeah. yeah. So we're not going to do 20 hours, okay? We're, that's my question. <laughs> we're not even going to do 10. But if we go five hours or six hours, I don't put time limits on things. We finish when we're done. So it's about the energy and the conclusion. We will conclude if we hit the four hour mark. Right. But if we go over, be prepared for that because I don't stop anything until the whole thing is complete. It's an energetic thing. And it's recorded also. So yeah. if you can hang and you show up or you Bring decide you're going to go to sleep, it's all there for you. Right. Uh, well, and that's the thing about it is, is a lot of people that attend these things, they still have to go back many times and replay them over and over because it's a light encoded activation. The whole thing is, it is just light codes, light codes, and light codes, and light codes to our human will put it complete mm -hmm. and stuff. So yes, you'll want the replay, which is why we do that. Yeah. It's funny. I've been, I've been friends with you for what, four years now, more or less. And you know, some things are just, what Elisa was talking about four years ago, are just starting to click into place now or did recently. And it's all this this intertwining of what's become available and what not open to as well. So going back and listening to the replays and participating in the yeah. coherent um, phase field is going again, amp is going to amplify our availability to access, implement and take action on the choices that we choose. Um, Definitely. So it's really important for each person to choose themselves. Now you have to choose yourself yeah. and you have to become that important to yourself. And then what happens is when, when you become that important, then you're able to fulfill your roles. Yeah. And, and so it, it's really an embracing of you from your absolute highest place here. And, and when you do that, everything aligns so easily. It's beautiful. And we're constantly choosing our next highest place constantly. over and over because that's our level and of self-respect. That's yeah. the part holding of embodiment it. is you have to hold it no matter what. And, and because when you hold the highest, the physical realize. Yeah. When you hold the highest, the entire, you are transmitting a co code, a bazillion of them out across the, I'm, I'm using words here to describe it across the energetic field of consciousness, across the universe, across your field, whatever, and you're telling the physical reality to realign according to the vibration you're holding. I see it as a magnet. It's like the magnet's going to attract what's attracted to and it's going to repel what doesn't sustain it. What it's what repels from it because it's not in energetic alignment with it. It's even more than being a magnet, though, because look at it this way. You're holding the geometric equations for, for how creation comes to be. Wow. And when you hold that, the constructs of every reality reconstructs according to the code you're holding. Am I, am I describing it? No, you are, yeah. So when you hold that, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts, and, and that new reality is the only reality you're willing to accept, then you're actually transmitting the vibration of that whole reality to realign. And it has to be pure. Everything it is pure. It's in pure form for the formula yeah. to really adhere. Yeah. Um, it's actually, wow. it, it can be so cool. So guys, we simplify all this on a quantum level and make it simple because quantum is simple. 
It's not complicated. Our human complicated everything. So, so we bring everything to a quantum level and it sounds backwards because everybody's like, oh, quantum, that just sounds so whatever. No, quantum simplifies. It's the opposite of what we thought. So just bring, bring your open heart, bring your open everything, bring your open energy, bring your excitement, excitement bring, your, bring your readiness. And that's really, that's what you need. Yeah, and, and you're equipped with all of that already, so how easy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, well, fantastic offer. Take advantage of it, and let's dive into some Q&A. So let's welcome Eve uh, to, I'm, I'm, to I'm, the I'm, call. I'm, oh, we're muted, so we can't hear her. Hold on. Eve. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Hi. All right, well, fantastic. Hi, offer. everybody. Let's dive into okay. some Q&A. So let's welcome Eve okay, so hold on. Uh, to, I'm, 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 to the call. Oh, we're muted so we can't hear her. Hold on. So guys, hold on just Eve. a quick second. You know what? Eve needs to come up here. Mm -hmm. Eve, can you hear me? Yep, I'll run up. Bring your computer. One sec. Oh, I love that ocean painting. <laughs> running, running. And come up here, but is she going to echo? We will soon find Bear out. Bear with us, guys. We're, we're testing, guys, but we want to take questions. questions. I can feel some great questions coming in also. So. Well, I can put her outside I, on the line and she can talk through the screen. There you go. I'm joking. But we're going to bring her up here so she can actually read us some of the questions. So, because if she's downstairs and we have to turn the volume down so that we can hear her, it's going to echo back. Right. So, one moment, guys. We'll there and as, Eve. as Eve gets set up, I want everyone to know we're going to run the replay of the video. And it's going to take probably 24 hours to render, so the replay won't be the same as usual. We'll send out the link. Yeah. In an email, you'll be able to access it all weekend, and really, it'll be up on YouTube also, so you'll be able to yeah. access it for a long time. Yeah. It, it'll go out just as soon as it's available. Just sometimes it takes a little while, yeah. so if that's the case, but but you'll have everything to put out, and so just check, and, and it'll be available. Oh, we have Eve right here. Awesome. So Eve is here, and I think she can read the questions to us, and you guys won't have the feedback. What, wait, mom. can Eve go on the video real quick so she can say hi to everybody? Well, come let her sit with yeah. us. Awesome. Just bring her on in come here. In come on, Eve. So Eve's my buddy from Hong Kong. She's my new buddy from Hong Kong also. She's John's new buddy too. And, and she and I have been working together for like a year, I don't know, a little over a year, year and a half, something like that. And, and we come together to create realities and accomplish and, and, and all this kind of cool stuff. She's a globally. powerhouse. She's a powerhouse and stuff. So even though sometimes- Oh, I like this. This is fun. I like this so much better. I like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. So Eve's going to read us some questions and we're going to answer you guys. So thank you. So this is how we roll. <laughs> so um, the first question, um, we have Tara asking about um, discrimination and how to resolve that. Is that something that she's okay. working through? All right. Discrimination is a separation of ourself. It's a, it's a part of the lesser or better game. And so the ego will get caught up in discrimination because it, it's about the feelings that we have about that. So it, it's feelings of being lesser or feelings of being wronged, which is the whole ego constructs. So, so when you get into discrimination on a soul level, there's no male or female. There's no race. There's no, everything is just pure energy. So it means really connecting with yourself in that purest place inside and realizing discrimination is judgment and, and, and realizing that you're carrying a judgment. And when you release the judgment, then one, you're not going to care what anybody else thinks. And two, the energy you're going to project out is going to be a different energy of love and respect for yourself instead of I'm less or I'm not enough or I'm different and all the judgments that come along with discrimination. So we basically have to let go. And this is a big thing of the ego is the story. We've convinced ourselves of all of these things. And so one of the things I tell people is what stories have you convinced yourself of as real and true and, and be okay with letting go of those and understanding that you're gonna have a new story and it's not gonna be tainted by the distortions of lack or less or somebody being better or what happened, you're stuck in a past. And so you want to bring yourself out of the past into the current moment, zero point field, and realize that from this moment, you're creating your entire future from your belief systems, from your energy right now. And if you're carrying forth this is where you get into quantum reality. 
if you're bringing forth another moment into this moment right here and you're still playing that out as reality, you're projecting it into your future. And so the moment you bring it into this reality and you accept everything that's ever occurred, everything as, as the way it was meant to be, it was a soul agreement. Everything played out exactly as, as it was supposed to and you resolve all the feelings around it and you let go of the stories of it. All you have in this moment is what you believe. What you have in this moment is the emotions that you're, that you're feeling. What you have in this moment is the story. What you have in this moment is what you tell yourself. So you tell yourself a different story. One is that you're free. You're free from all of that stuff that doesn't have to be that way anymore. Because now in this moment, you have a choice to tell yourself whatever you want. And, and from this moment, you are enough. You're more than enough in this moment. And, and what I had to do was, was I brought everything into the current moment and I collapsed all other times. And in this moment, all I had was what I chose. And in this moment, I chose to be happy. And in this moment, I chose to let the stories go. And in this moment, I chose to allow myself to cry. Get angry, get the energy out of the body, go scream. If you have to cuss and stomp your feet, it doesn't really matter, it's just energy. It's called a conscious release. And get it out of your body because what most don't understand, or, or our unconscious human doesn't understand, a lot of people do understand this now because multidimensionality, everybody, there's so many people that are awake and get all of this. The beauty is that story and that belief is just trapped in yourself. And the moment you get it out, the moment you allow yourself time alone, the moment you allow yourself to go to sleep and clear the rest of the programming and integrate and unify, the moment you converge, a, a collapse and a convergence are the same thing. And, and so like harmonic convergence, it, it, it's a convergence of all things in harmony. And you're bringing on your realities into harmony within you so that you can return to peace, so that you can return. It's a return to love. It's a return to, to peace and respect and kindness and compassion for yourself. And the beauty of it, and I've been explaining this to a lot of people, is it, it, it's basically dissolving your inner narcissist. And your inner narcissist, that's what, we're going to go through some massive narcissist stuff out there right oh, now yeah. because everybody's got to resolve their inner narcissist, which is the one that the critic and the one that, that the narcissist aspect, and everybody has this, mm -hmm. is the part of them that says they're less, the part of them that manipulates emotions to feel like less the part that manipulates or holds or uses threats and all of these things in order to get a controlled outcome. Mm -hmm. Instead of honoring the beauty of each person's soul inside and, and from that place of love. And, and so when you realize that narcissism can only occur in your reality if you still carry the program, the moment you stop playing with your inner narcissist and, and you basically own everything and, and say no more. You're going to say no more to a lot of stuff. The moment you realize you're not only just worth it, you are worth so much more than we gave ourselves credit for. We are so much more than we gave ourselves credit for. So it's basically being ready to own that. Just be ready. And, and, and with discrimination, it's a judgment that each person carries forth to basically play out hurt feelings. And when you understand hurt feelings turn into hate, then, then hurt is a clearing of, of the heart space so that you can come back to love. And, and, and so it's clearing the hurt, but be okay with clearing the hurt because when the hurt dissolves, then this beautiful love takes its place. Right. And it's really respecting yourself enough to allow yourself the gift of that entire experience. So it's, it's choosing yourself. Does that make sense? It does. We have a couple of other people asking about um, what their body was going through during the ascension process. Um, they've been asking about pain and also infection. Yes. What is that? One, see the metaphors and everything. That will tell you a lot. Infection is going to be a part of the immune system. You want to naturally support your body in every way. 
a lot of sleep, a lot of downtime. The body has to completely relax and surrender too. So basically what happens is our immune system gets hit really hard. So you have to boost your immune system with natural. Everything has to be natural. Everything has to be clean because otherwise what we do is put something into our body that suppresses it again. And then we have to do it all over again. And so most, we didn't understand that we're clearing our whole, in this physical lifetime, everything we've ever subjected our body to, it's got to be cleared. Everything, everything we've breathed, everything we've eaten, every thought, we don't understand at the time that our thoughts and our emotions are toxic to our body. And so it's a cleansing and a detoxification process of those distorted emotions and beliefs and everything that we were carrying. The immune system gets hit really hard. Now I gotta be careful here so I can explain this. Because our human functions from survival mode and safety mechanisms that have to completely go away because what happens is we're, we're protecting ourselves from the thing that we're trying to achieve. And so when we go into protecting ourselves, then our immune system suffers. Our immune system is our defense mechanism, which means you're defending yourself, defending yourself. But when your immune system starts going through this breakdown process, you're gonna stop defending yourself and basically open up in a whole new way but what happens with our immune system is we were constantly in defensive survival mode. Um, everything was perceived as a threat, so our immune system suffered. And so when we stop perceiving everything as a threat and instead as knowledge to show us what's out of alignment, what's not, everything's knowledge here. Right. When you have that awareness and that realization, you then have the power again. And so it's really understanding, support your immune system. And I have a, I have a page on my website that's dedicated, it's like 33 pages long, I don't know, it's really long. And it basically is supporting your plasma crystalline light body and, and tons of natural stuff that you can choose from. And it's, it, these are just base points. And, and you basically have to go inside and, and you ask your universe, your higher self, your body, and, and, and you pay attention to every sign. You pay attention to every message. You pay attention to the things that repeat. Mm -hmm. Anything that repeats itself is either the information you're seeking, but you're not able to hear yet. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be through overhearing conversations mm -hmm. or a street sign or a bulletin board or a book you read or the title of something, or it will represent a distortion. Distortions repeat over and over again too. So you have, it's up to understand. So like for me, when it was time to get my body clean, then I basically had to get over my ego and go ask somebody. My ego kept being in the way and, and not understanding my ego, what was caught, was my source of my separation, which meant my body was shutting down. And so I basically had to be ready to start implementing support. I had to make my body so important that I was going to listen to it, respect it, love it, and support it in whatever it needed, no matter what my human life. And, and it's natural support for the immune system, natural support, and there's tons of op options. We just have to choose which one. It's more sunshine. And the old perceptions of that can harm you, you have to let that go. Because everything that we Sorry, that Everything that we need on a soul level are human fears. Mm -hmm. And so it's always going to be the opposite of what we thought. And so basically upping, you know, I, I had to start taking vitamin D every day and getting out in the sunshine and, and all of the fears of don't get this. That my universe said, go out and, and burn your skin and peel. And underneath that skin is new skin. It's like, oh my God, I look younger. You know, and all the threats and the fears. And, and you basically have to choose not to listen to the fear anymore and to listen to your higher guidance. Mm -hmm, right. and, and, but, you know, we don't tell anybody to do anything that goes against themselves. We're telling them to go inside and listen mm -hmm. and, and ask and then be willing to do the weird and the bizarre that kind of don't fit into the norm or, or the logical thing. Because I was so asleep, my body shut down and I went into organ failure and all that kind of stuff. Well, my universe said detox. Detox, detox, detox. Not the harsh, like, 
drinking like heavy duty stuff and, and flushing and all that kind of, that was too harsh for my system. I wanted something simple. So I started detoxing simple and kept it in my system every day. Well, everybody said, oh, but you only do that twice a year. And my universe said, no, you're going to do it every day because, right. because your body is dying. Get your, get your, bring your body back. And, and so I detoxed for a year and a half solid to get, to bring my body back to pristine health and reverse everything chronic to clear all that. Because basically what it was, what it was all of the distorted frequencies that I was housing in my body and they were shutting my system down. And so it was basically learning to love and respect my body. So anything natural that speaks to you, do your research. We, we were talking that not too long ago, the word for the gift of research. Are humans lazy? It mm-hmm. wants to accept the old. Well, no, you actually have to research, not the things that bring fear in, research your options. Those are called alternate realities, which end up turning into different timelines and parallels. And it gets really cool when you actually open up to all this stuff. But basically do the research on what can support your immune system naturally. Do all of those things that your body's going through. But I think one of the biggest things to explain is that when your body's going from linear to quantum, your body goes haywire for a while. Haywire means quantum, and we don't understand that at the time. So instead of trying to control the body, it's listen to the body. And even though your human might might go, oh, this doesn't, oh no, and you wanna go to fear, if you will actually tune into your body and say, is everything okay? Usually the answer is gonna be yes, it is. And it's really just listening to and respecting your body, because that's your higher self and your universe talking to you. It's your soul talking to you through your body, and you have to learn how to listen. Does that answer that? Yeah. And then we have um, Jennifer asking, she has been telling her universe that she is ready for over a year and she wants to change her um, living circumstances. Mm -hmm. So right now she's asking, what is she doing wrong? She has been saying that she's ready. There is no wrong, but but there's this perception that we, all we have to do is ask and ask and ask and ask and then it just appears out of nowhere for us. Okay. And and it, it can, but usually we don't like the way that happens. And stuff because that means that in every moment we're not listening. And so basically, there is a being and a connecting, and there's a doing part of this process. And what happens is you have to be ready to do whatever your universe says to get up and do. So when it says step into that fear, you got to step into the fear. When it says, for me, it was you're going to write books. Everything that I'm doing now, I never expected to do. I would not, if you had told me I've been doing any of this, I would have called you crazy. None of this was on my radar. I agree. Right. None. I mean, zero. I was completely in 12,000 other directions, very linear, completely human, completely asleep. And this was not reality. Okay. It's the total opposite of what we, we perceive. But a lot of people, the biggest the thing that I see is that in every moment you should be asking, what do I do? And when the feeling says, get up and write the book, get up and do this. My, my universe, basically, you're, you have your universe and you have your human self. I'm going to make it just two right now, your higher self and your human self. Well, your human doesn't want to hear because it doesn't fit into reality or it pushes its limits. You're not to have any limits. That's what infinite is. You don't have limits. Mm-hmm. But your human does. It's human conditioning. And so basically every moment you're going to be breaking those conditions breaking those limits you have on things. And, and some, all of the limits are the things that you're not willing to do to make it happen. And so basically it's get up every moment and say, okay, what do I do right now? And when, it, when it's like, go do this, go do that, spend this money, pay for this, you don't find excuses for why you don't have enough or you're not willing to, because our human will make excuses all day long. You basically have to be willing to step up and do whatever you're told. You're surrendering your human ego of lack to do whatever it takes to, you're pulling those realities out of the ethers and anchoring them in the physical by what you do in every moment. And so for those of us who do this, there's this perception that we don't work. I know mine's so easy. It's like, Oh, you're, you've set it up. so Our easily. lives are easy, but, yeah. but, but in every moment we are dedicated in service. And we, if you guys don't think I work 12,000 jobs and that I don't have 16 email accounts and that I don't do tech support and that I don't get up and go clean my backyard and that I don't sweep my lanai and that I don't clean my house every day and train and teach. We work 12,000 jobs. 
we're constantly going. We have things to do. Yeah. We are not kicked back doing absolutely nothing. But I will tell you, when we're going through a massive cosmic upgrade, we're in the bed sleeping. And, and for years, I had to sleep and let go of the need to control. And then when I woke up, it was okay, what do I do? And what happens is while you're sleeping, you're clearing the excuses out. Those yeah. are the veils of amnesia. While you're sleeping, you're clearing all that lack out. While you're sleeping, you're clearing out all of the old illusory, the disillusioned stuff. While you're sleeping, and when you wake up, you have new knowledge, mm -hmm. you have new information, you have new everything. And, and, and it's your job, if you will, on a human level to get up and do what you're shown to make it happen. Now, in the beginning, you're not going to understand a lot of the stuff you're told. So in right. the beginning, mine was get up and get in the car and go drive down the road and tell, turn left when you're told to tell it, turn I, left. I had the same thing. Yeah, because your human's learning to follow directions mm -hmm. and instructions without needing to know anything right. first. And so I started learning that if I would just listen to the weird invisible realms, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. And the bizarre, everything got easy. So like one day I got in the car and, and I got up one morning and it's get up and go help every broke down car. And, and I was bringing my angel energy forth and I didn't know that at the time. And, and it was get up and go pack, go, go, go push every buggy for every old person. And people are looking at you like you're crazy and, and you're learning to follow instructions from your higher self, from your universe. You're basically surrendering your ego and, and all. And, and I had to follow instructions when my universe said, Give everything away, throw everything away, sell your car and buy one way ticket. This is what you're gonna do. I had no safety mechanism, nothing. And I had to trust. And it's like, you don't get to know anybody. You don't get to have a place to live. You don't get to rent a car. You're gonna go in blindly and you're gonna trust. And the cool part was it brought up all my fears, but it opened every other dimensional reality blew it wide open for me because I was willing, it's okay. <laughs> I was willing to do blindly what made no linear logical sense and follow that inner guidance inside and let that basically run my show. Mm -hmm. And so when, when she says, what do I, you know, what am I doing wrong? It's not that you're doing anything wrong. The question is, what are you doing? And in every moment, you're doing something. You're doing, it's learning how to be, but you're yeah. doing from a deeply connected place inside of you, and you're following the direction and instructions of the universe and your higher self. And you're basically stepping into those fears. And you're not making excuses. And you're not saying, I don't have enough money. And you're not saying, I'm not enough. And those are all the conditioning programs of the ego. And you're basically saying, nope, I got this. Mm -hmm. And for me, every day, just getting up, okay, universe, my human okay universe what am i gonna do and it's like get on facebook and start writing the frequencies you hear and i'm standing in my bathroom going you crazy <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no and basically the messages will come through in, in the subtle realms whatever you want to call them and, and it was you don't you don't understand how important this is do what you're told and basically i had now energy reports are like all over the place but when i started writing energy reports 24 hours i had to be on facebook every 15 minutes to write a new energy report for years wow. because i had to bring through the understanding teach people about their light body teach people about the frequencies they were hearing teach people how to decode them all and understand how everything correlated and it took years and if i hadn't listened in that moment to the weird and the bizarre, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now, which is highly, not only highly respected, highly sought by people trying to understand what's going down now. So, so be okay with the bizarre and weird that makes absolutely no sense because these are vibrational reality. They're not linear. So, and, and so the question is, what are you doing? You're going to challenge your human and you're going to get up each day and you're going to do whatever it takes. When my universe said, start spending money, start paying this for, and I'm like, what? I have to pay for, I have to pay to be in service. It's like, yeah, yeah. it has to be that important to you. And, and because our money is one of our deepest programs when it comes to lack and the human isn't willing to spend money on this. 
you know, and, and we don't understand the moment we spend the money and usually it's a big amount of money. Right. Then all of a sudden we activate all those realities to blow wide. That happens to open. me also. My awakening, my, the floodgates open. Yeah. I invested a chunk of money that I never thought I would have, but I knew I needed to. And, and, and the person who was actually coaching me through this and all that, she says, I wasn't going to charge you. <laughs> I didn't want to, but my guides told me that you wouldn't do the work unless you invested. You would not receive the benefits of it unless you totally went in with everything. And for me, yeah. again, the fear of losing the money, losing the money right. was part of the faith that I had to entrench myself in to get to a new reality. Well, it's even bigger than that because it's an honoring of your soul. Absolutely. And oh, when yeah. you say, I'm going to honor my mm -hmm. soul, my it's soul, worth it. it's purpose, valued. it's value. You're establishing a new value system. Uh -huh. That value is returned to you a bazillion oh, fold. God. I would have paid 10 times what she charged yeah. me. I would have paid a hundred times yeah. what you charge me. Forget it. It's, yeah. it's crazy. That's why, you know, yeah. I had ever put on my thing. I don't offer refunds. And the reason mm -hmm. being is I'm going to hold everybody to the place. This is either important to you or it's not. Yeah. And you're either dedicated or you're not. You're, you're going to let your soul choose or you're going to let your human dictate. And I don't play in the human stuff. Yeah. We're not doing anybody a favor by playing in the old human stuff. Because if you look at the external reality out there for everybody playing in the human reality, you get to see what those realities are. Right. Or you get to see what's possible. And you get to choose those things. But it's a, it's a level of dedication and commitment with everything that you have, your resources. We share everything. We share our resources. We share everything with each other, the intelligence, the knowledge, the realities. Everything is shared here, and humans can't share. Well, and it's also telling us whether or not we're really in integrity with what we're asking for because – if we're not willing to invest, then we're not in integrity with the request. And well, and look at the land. vibration of what you're saying. Yeah. If I'm not willing to invest, I'm saying I'm not ready for the awesome realities. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready. And that I'm not ready is what's transmitting out. And that's what's returning a yeah. reality to you. So I tell people, get ready. Yeah. Get, go all in. Get completely ready and say, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it takes is everybody really being ready instead of the hesitation and the fear and the doubt the and push I'm pull not sure. and everything right because yeah. when you do that you're transmitting multiple frequencies and you're transmitting codes of lack mm -hmm. and when you transmit codes of lack you're, you're receding lack back and confusion back and distortion yeah. back and everything else. Because of the, the, what you're doing is that dualistic program mm -hmm. and, and stuff and the beauty and my words are slack is lack mm. we don't slack do you see any one of us just kick back doing absolutely nothing? No, we're inspired. But even when we're doing nothing, we're doing so much. Well, and when and you're, it seems like we're doing nothing, but there, we're not. There's going to be processes for mm -hmm. a lot of people that they're laid up in the bed and they cannot do anything else. And it's important to understand that if you are in that place, in that space, you're doing a lot of work on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. Honor that process as important. It's huge. And understand that everything you do from that deeply connected place has a huge importance and give yourself some credit and, and, and validate the work you are doing, even though it doesn't make any sense that all you're doing is sleeping, mm -hmm. even though it doesn't make any, even though others have judgment, if right. you have judgment, it's not theirs, it's yours. Yep. So clear the judgment about it and get okay with your whole reality is going to change. But what happens is when you live your soul's life, your human life is magical and amazing and easy because they go hand in hand. Right. Grace comes that in. It, it, it becomes, yes. And so the, the parts that are challenging, is it's only challenging to your ego. And if you can understand that, then you can simplify everything. If it's not simple and easy, now in the beginning, that's not true because the emotions we have are not simple and easy. It's about getting those emotions and those belief systems out. But as, as you get, as you transcend all of those things inside of you, then all of your realities become very simple. They're built on love. But they can become simple because we have teachings now. We have activations. That's we have these the transmissions from all of us have been doing all this work. And it's like here, yeah. we've blazed trails. We've all done this and we bring in yeah. teachers like Lisa and example way shores. That's what teachers, the forerunners right. did is we right. chose to do the rough and the tough so yeah. that we could turn around and share the knowledge for everybody else as, as it was time to come through. 
when he says now the stuff that I'm talking years ago, he's starting, it's because we chose to go through it years before so that by the time everybody else started coming through on a multidimensional level, then the information not only was already there, but it was validated as real. Right. And, and so doing this for years and years and years, all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is real. When people start experiencing like, oh, it's real. If you wait to the point <laughs> yeah. that you need proof though, then, then proof, we don't kind of like that part. So, so instead of needing physical world proof, then start your proof is inside is the way you feel and you trust what you know inside over what the external reality says. And it's really important to understand that. It is really important. All right, what's next? So, so before we get into that though, yes. getting into the simplicity of what's available and the oh, teachings, yeah. again, the special offer guys, Lisa's put together amazing packages, again, the activations, listen to while you're sleeping, while you're resting. Make it simple for you. Make it simple for you. Those are there. the new program, the live program that's coming up. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm excited that this is being presented today on Beyond the Ordinary Show. So click on the special offer button, go to beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash Lisa 16, the number 16. It'll take you to the special offer page as well and you'll be able to start participating uh, with those activations and prepare for the course that's coming up in August. Well, and one of the things we learn along the way is that if we will choose to re-educate ourselves through higher mm -hmm. consciousness, our realities get really easy. Yeah. And so the, the re-education, it's an evolution of our consciousness. Mm -hmm. And, and that re-education is really important. So those of us who, who hold those roles as re-educators, if you will, it's, it's a beyond important part of the process for everybody to understand that those are the tools that make everything easier if everybody's ready to embrace it. Some people say like, no, I got this, I get it all, I don't need all of that. And, and there are some people, you know, they've already been through that, each person's different. But basically, if you're seeking anything at all, if you're confused, if you want to accelerate, and even the cool part is you're just ready to bring more awesomeness through. Yeah, exactly. Then, then right. it's like, okay, cool. Let's just bring more awesomeness through. We don't even care about the old stuff anymore. I'm and, constantly learning. Constantly. Uh -huh. It's so exciting. It, but it is really a re-education of your entire everything because you're moving from linear to quantum. And that's not an easy thing unless you're choosing the easy way. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that's probably the easiest way to say yeah. it. Easy. Easy, <laughs> easy today. All right, what else we got? Question. One more? Yeah, let's go one more. One more. One more. Okay. Um, we have someone asking, how do I know when my DNA is activated? It's all, it, okay. So mm -hmm. basically, here's the thing. Everybody's DNA is activated. Okay. The, the, the human ego linear. Um, in the beginning, we, we basically have to pull completely away and go inside and connect with our body and listen to our body in order to actually hear our body talking to us. But everybody's DNA has been activated. Every, you don't walk this earth without being activated because earth ascended. So now each person is just walking around clearing the old program and they hold in their body and that's it. Earth went multidimensional. So, so every person walks on a multidimensional earth. It's not something for one day. It's for when you wake up, you open your eyes and your heart you and you actually reality. look for the differences. Mm -hmm. You look for the higher vibrational reality. You expect them. You expect when you go out to have something magical and amazing to occur. But, but, but the human expects the shoe to drop and for realities to collapse or, or whatever. And you, we expect amazing. We expect magic. We expect your DNA has been activated. And the thing about it is, and, and the easiest way to tell is if you have an emotion, that's your DNA being activated. If you have a physical pain, that's your DNA being activated. If you dream, that's your DNA, that's your higher consciousness, that's the other dimension, your dreams are the other dimensions and they will become really real. They won't be dreams anymore. They will be realities you are in and then the cool part is the more you do this, they'll actually appear in your waking state and you'll experience them again. People call that deja vu. We don't have deja vu. You're experiencing the reality in more than one state. I've had so many lately. That's I've, what I've, that had, I've had like 
deja vu after deja vu after deja vu the last That's month and a half. That's multidimensionality. It's yeah. been amazing. And I knew it wasn't deja vu anymore. I was like, oh no, it's no. timelines. It's, I'm like yeah. accessing yeah. different information. Yeah. It's so cool. Well, and, and you, you know, I, we go to sleep, but, but we're conscious and we're working in the sleep state. So people say, Lisa, you came to me and woke me in my dream state last yeah. night. Oh, Lisa. And I will be teaching all night long and wake up exhausted and go, I've been teaching all uh -huh. night. And people go, you were with me last night. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Welcome to the free session. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is how it works. Yeah, is that we, the sleep state and the wake state flip and merge. And so our, when you're anchoring the dream, the more you become your soul, and your soul is pure. Okay, so everything else is ego. So when you go to that purest place inside of you, you can transcend your own ego very easily. When you walk as a soul, you walk on the earth. The difference that most people don't understand is that new earth vibrates at the baseline frequency of gamma. Oh, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. And your light body activates through gamma rays. Mm -hmm. And when you sleep and you meditate, you can elevate your brainwave state, but it's more than your brainwave state. I call it your body wave. It's the brain wave of your body. Mm -hmm. And so when you can elevate your body's consciousness to a gamma state, then you can experience new earth in your physical reality because you're maintaining, well, it takes, it takes integrating the photonic light of your soul to actually reconstruct your DNA so the physical reality can be a different dimension. Right. Does that make sense? It does. Because, and, and you will feel your cells moving, zoom, zoom, yeah. zoom, 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 and vibrating, and the crystals in your body will actually vibrate. And that's when the grid work of, of New Earth and the Stargates are all activating and aligning. And it's really cool when you start to have these experiences. The cool thing is that physical reality outside aligns for you really easily and everything gets really easy. Right. And, and stuff. So if you focus on your light body and your vibration and your energy and where you're focusing your energy, mm -hmm. where you focus, what your priorities are going to change. So when you understand all of these things, if you actually pay attention to your energy and what can affect your energy, mm -hmm. then you say, I'm not, that's not going to affect me anymore. Right. Or when you can pay attention to when you can't stay expanded or something closes your heart to go, oh, well, why is that going? And so there's all these things to pay attention to in real life. Every time somebody comes around, my vibration drops, I get my power away. Well, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's just a realization, mm -hmm. that's the cool part. Right. So, so all these realizations are really important. So whatever the question was, did I answer that? <laughs> I got lost. This, this is so wonderful, guys. It's got, it's so cool. and. Thank you. Thank you for doing this Thank video you call. Guys, this is it's, fun. This is so much fun. Thank you all for couch, cosmic couch surfing. I want to call it. Oh, right? Yeah. Which is so awesome. We're going to have to do this again. But yes. it's, come back and, again, we'll have the replay up. It'll be on the replay page. We'll give the links out to YouTube. The best way that you can access it, we'll make sure that we make it easy for your reality. Because that's what we're here to do. And take advantage, again, of Lisa's special offer. Um, Again, you can find it by clicking on the special offer button or going to beyondyourinnerishow.com forward slash Lisa16. Thank you, Eve, thank you. for moderating and taking fantastic questions yeah. from all of y'all. And again, thanking each and every one of you for, for being on this call with us and on this new yeah. earth that we're all just birthing together. It's yeah. an honor to do it. Birthing with anew, you. constantly rebirthing. Yeah. So, yeah. so with that, namaste and see you Bye. in the next one. Yes.